Hey guys, it's Fia, uh, back with another Twitch VOD, obviously. Um, this one's from the 21st of January, 2022. Uh, we did some Cataclysm time walking, not some Cataclysm, fucking, that's two weeks from now. Uh, Wrath of Lich King time walking. Look, it has been, it, this was a bit of a heavy stream. Um, everything was pretty hunky-dory up until the point there was a question uh, about the phrase, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Uh, we had some pretty heavy discussions, some stuff that was needed to be had, obviously, and just some general talk about mental health and potential instability and the power that words have over people. Uh, and by the end of the stream, it had taken a bit out of me, uh, to be perfectly honest. So it's uh, a little heavy. So if you're not in the perfect place to be dealing with that kind of talk, um, once you hear me read that particular message from chat, it might be a safe time for you to switch it off and watch something else. Um, but I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that if you do end up listening through to the end, uh, that you appreciate some of the stuff that we talked about or have something to contribute to the discussion. Of course, as always, feel free to chuck things down in the comments below. Um, you can find me live on Twitch. Sorry about that. Live on Twitch from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. You can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. And if you want those in your time schedule, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama forward slash schedule, and it will convert all of my streams to your time zone magically for you. I don't think it's actually magic. I think it's tech, but like, is tech not just magic in metal boxes or something? Look, that sounded far more deep in my head than it did coming out of my face. I hope you enjoy the VOD and I will see you in the next one. Testing the captions. Hey, there we go. Where's this button? That button? Hi. I have a cooker. <laughs> I like the cooking. <laughs> Correct. These are my, um, these are the, the cake mix cookies. Look, aren't they, aren't they, like, can you actually see, like, the rainbow? Boogie down! Focus on me. Look at the cookie. Mm -hmm. You can see the sprinkle, you can see them, like, at the bottom. Yeah. Nom. Barrel! This one. Who's fucking keen for time walking? It's been a while since we've done time walking on stream, actually. I was thinking about it. Like, there, there have been a couple of times. So I used to, way, 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 way back when, there was a day of the week where we used to like dive headfirst into whatever event it was for the week. Um, and I haven't done that in ages. But I was like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to like, Especially when there's collectibles involved. <laughs> Especially when there's collectibles involved. So, oh shit, hang on. If I do this... I've still got a program to go to Chef Squad. Because I forgot. Oh, the Alliance! Um, I'm very good. I'm a very professional streamer. Seriously, like... Ain't nobody as profesh as me. Stream day taking forever to do thing. <laughs> there we go. Fixed it. Uh, all right. So, step one: get a group. Blood and thunder. So, I need a tank, a healer, and two DPS. So what I think we're going to do, what I think we're going to do is um, open up the queue. But what before we do that, is it going to work? I am live, right? You guys can hear me. <laughs> everything is just taking 70 million years to respond to me, so I feel like I've broken everything. Uh, time working. Um, excuse me, what are you doing? Baby, tune da 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 da, baby, tune da 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 da. Let's 
do that. Let's do that. So exclamation join, if you'd like to do time walking, please put your roll after join. If you can fill multiple roles, put whatever you see. So if you can be tank DPS and healer, you can put all, or if you can just be tank or deeps, you can put tank deeps or whatever, like just so that I know that if I put a group together, it's actually gonna be functional. Um, so if you've already joined, you cannot do it again to add your note. <laughs> That's why I put it in the thing where it says Q is open up for time walking, pop your rolls after the join. That is that is why I did that, because you cannot add it afterwards. So I'm gonna remove you both from the queue. Uh remove. Yes. Remove. Yes. Now you can add yourselves back with your notes. Um good lord, yeah. PC is running like shit. What the fuck is going on? Something's not right. Something's, something's wrong. It's this. Let me confer with my sources. <laughs> no. Yeah, something's going on in the background. Yep. Yeah. Cancel that operation. Okay. Hopefully that makes things better. Nope, it still took seven minutes to scroll. Um. Well done on first, Zam. Well done, Yori, on last. You too, am here. Wonderful fairy. Welcome on in. Hello, Icy. Let's try for second. Not third, Yuri. Well done on second, Shiba. Not always last. So I didn't get it. Indeed. Indeed. Let's do last two in a room early. Third is probs available. Indeed. Shoot, I just remembered you have a text redeem. You do. You do. I usually let it hit like seven days before I like wes like message them on, on Discord and be like, Hi, you have a redemption. Can I have the details, please? Um, but yes, you do have a text redeem you forgot about. Cookie, indeed. It was delicious. It's it's really really good. Good. Hey, you do. Yeah, I'm doing all right. How are you going today? It's a Fiamma shirt. It is, but not the kind of Fiamma shirt that you guys can buy. This is one that was made for me by a lovely, lovely Majesty, with like iron on. Yep. Me for time walking. How's Friday treating you? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. How about you, do? Uh, joining my horde tune isn't 50 yet. Oh no! Oh no, so much prep the house like with hot roast. I can just put it on in the morning. Don't have to spend time cooking and miss out on the marathon. I love the I love this idea. This is wonderful. Good job. Good job. Hey, attack guy. So where I should also my fourth one working. Woo! Chef squad! Yeah. That was great. Roast trim. Roast trim, yes. You should have been able to hear me. Um, I was testing the captions and making sure that they said the right thing when they popped up on the side screen. Which is why I said testing the captions. Should that monitor five? Break all the things, always. Always. Can't wait for Fear to go live. Why is she so like, fuck? Fuck you! I'm here, okay, yeah? Well done on third BC. What's going on? I don't know. Do. There we go. Alrighty. Um, problem is probably related to source. What do you think, Edgar? <laughs> um, when things ultimately turn out well, Gladga. Ah, uh, Braidwood Brew, indeed. Good, wonderful. Alright, so. I have Mince and Icy who can join as DPS. Do we have anyone who can heal or tank? Because otherwise the queue is going to be 77 minutes long. Like, honestly, queuing is 3 DPS with no Tangle Healer. We will not get a fucking dungeon for literally hours because all the, the deep, like, all the tanks and healers tend to queue with a DPS friend to try to get them faster queues. So if we queue as 3 DPS, we are going to have a bad time. So I'm not doing that. Not doing it. How 
is everyone going? How have your Fridays been? Well, like, I guess it's, like, ridiculously early on Friday morning for some people. Heal on Alliance. It's not helpful, though. No, it's not. Uh, so she didn't know about the advanced tab latency to broadcast to 31 seconds, even after a refresh. Yeah, sometimes your internet's just shit. Sometimes my internet's just shit. Sometimes Twitch's internet is just shit. But honestly, the fact that we can be literally anywhere in the world, and I can clap my hands, and then 30 seconds later, anyone from anywhere around the world can watch me clap my hands. Like, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> you know? Like, holy fuck. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I need to take my secret cross-country mobility for all of the day-night capability. We prefer 120mm gun. <laughs> God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Um, worked and then changed all the UI on my tunes. A whole bunch of cards. Even saw some pebble. Yay! Well done. What do you think about Microsoft buying Blizzard? Sure. They've obviously got the money to do it. Keep in mind that they haven't done it yet. They've reached an agreement, and now it has to go through all the regulatory bullshit. There has been a lot of chatter about whether or not this constitutes a monopoly, or, or is anti-competitive, and all this kind of stuff. So just keep in mind that nothing is done until it is done. It's fine. But yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of people like freaking the fuck out and it's just so silly. Like <laughs> there is exactly zero point getting super involved or passionate or like freaking out about this just yet. Like it hasn't even actually happened yet. It's just this is what they've filed, this is what they want to do. They have to still get approvals. And then after that, no one knows what's gonna happen. Nobody does. Not even Microsoft or Blizzard knows what's gonna happen. Because they may have plans for what might what they might want to do. But then they've got to get it past boards, they've got to do shareholder bullshit, like there's a whole lot of- like no one knows what this is gonna do. So just... Take your breaths. And we'll see what- we'll see what may. We'll see what may. Um... Where are we going? Um... That not work. Hello, Outback Jeep. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. True, I am new. You are. It said first time chat from viewer. In the coming weeks, yeah, probably. Probably. Personally, I'm looking forward to playing a Spartan in WoW 11.0. Level 48, and immediately telling my grand to fuck off. Yep. Yep. It's exactly what we do. It's exactly what we do, Yuri. Okay, um, I'm not going to queue as 3 DPS because it will literally take seven hours. So let me just have a look and see what the what the queue is like if I... Seven minutes. All right. Um, Mince, can I get you to DM me in game? And I'll invite you and we'll just check and see what the, what the queue looks like. Stream also one day. Well done. Well done. Uh, as long as I can play an elite, play the elites. But how are you? Doing pretty well, Chaos. Doing pretty well, thanks. How are you? Perfect. Nine minutes. That's not too bad. Not not too much of a thing, Major. Cool. So we'll do this one, and then once that's done, um, I'll jump onto the next tune and pull Icy in. Um, if you want to join us for time walking, exclamation join, and uh, and then pop in DPS tank or heals or whichever ones uh, plural you can fill, um, or whichever ones you're willing to fill, I should say. Just because you can tank doesn't mean you don't. It doesn't mean you want to. So exclamation join, and then your roll. Uh, and it'll pop you in the queue. And uh, we're going to do a whole bunch of time walking tonight. What's happening, Green Toenail? Ah, oh, no good. No good. Good morning, Dur. Everyone's doing all right? Absolutely. Hope you can see the same. Mm 
Hmm. What am I gonna do? While we wait. I do have a bunch of um what's it called coins I could spend. Um what's the actually Tell if it's me or not, you freeze for split seconds every so often. That's interesting. Uh, everything on my end looks good slash great. Um, you might want to check your advanced what's it? Your advanced stats on your thing. You might have a bit of it, like it might be buffering for half a second every so often. Um, and if that's the case, then your buffer size will be growing over time. Um, see you later, Outback. What can I do for you? Na, 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 na. Safe travel. Uh, really, all the lunkers and stuff are both. They're see all bop. Heck. Actually, what I could do, though. Bastion. Things remembered, alright. I have an add-on that tells me if any interesting world quests are up at the moment. And I do still need, um... I think it's Claire for what Bastion remembered. Oh no, yeah, and Callisthene. I need both the Ks. What did your advance shit say, Sheba? Oh shit, it's like my teeth, hang on. Is it cookie or lunch? <laughs> mm. So your advanced stuff said that like your buffer wasn't too large or anything? That's really interesting, because I've got like no dropped frames, no like my my bitrate is perfect, FPS is fine, like everything's going just golden. That's really, really strange. I'm so sorry, that really, mm. It might just be Twitch. Um, Twitch had a major issue earlier this morning, a major with a capital M issue earlier this morning. Uh, this morning, my time. Um, basically, Twitch forgot who was subbed to who. The uh, so all the streamers had zero subs on their dashboards, their their revenue was fucked, um, and all the viewers, no one could sub, no one could use emotes, no one could do anything. It's like their, their sub servers just kind of died. So, um, I wonder if maybe there's some, like, other issues going on on their end that are just kind of doing little hiccups every so often. Twitch is a bit twitchy at the moment. It is indeed. I've been buffered at 21, 22 second latency. Oh, ouch. Let me just check mine. Oh, oh, hang on a second. No, I've just had an error message in OBS. Not, not an error message. If it's an error message, the whole stream crashes. But, um, hang on a minute. wonder if... Let's close that. Let me see if I can figure out what's what's going on. I feel like that's from a song, right? Like from the nineties. Maybe the early O's, the early noughties. can close you. Yes. I can't close you. I can close you. I could probably close you, but everything will explode when I- no, fuck it. I'll close you. We don't need that. Uh, need you, need you, need you. Don't need you. Close you. You. 
You have to stay open though. Close you and close you. Um, I'm gonna do a quick uh, task manager launch. If this makes anything hiccup. Yes, wah. Just to see if there's anything running that I don't want to run. Yes, I know World of Warcraft's power usage is very high. No shit. No shit. Exiting a bunch of shit. I think that's about as much as I can do. Hopefully that will... I'll just keep an eye on it. It's really strange. Who the fuck knows what's going on? Um, you said that you froze for a second. Yeah, it was an encoding overload error. Not error, message, notification, whatever. Um. I know, right? I know. Apparently it didn't last very long because as soon as people started tweeting, they were like, ah, fuck, that's a pretty big problem. Uh, especially because people couldn't sub. So as soon as the issue affects their potential revenue, yeah. Uh, mm, how do I join for time walking? Exclamation join followed by your role. So tank, DPS, or healer. If you can fill multiple, then put multiple. You can put, you can put up to all three if you want to. But does how? So an emote on the screen, did you? Interesting, you should say that. Oh, I've got um um yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um well this isn't gonna help because I don't need her. Um Athena's loyal companions, on the other hand. Cause I don't need forge light. Sophony. Sophony or whatever the fuck her name is. Soph. I only need the other two. She should be, she should be freezing. She's a fire mage. I know. Well, except for when I use ice block. This is always fun. It is. It is. I did a tweak. I did a tweak. I think it's a higher tier something. Any emotes to appear on the stream? Nope. Ah, uh, you just gotta use them. <laughs> Uh, faster gaze in the door screen ever. Too bad to drop the second half of the toy. Oh, men, sorry to hear that. Right, so it's looking for a healer. Interesting. So it seems like the healers are the ones getting the uh, hues today, if anyone is there. Oh, wow, it's all the way down there. Fuck, how did I. Good lord, I was not paying attention. Flame Ward Hippogriff. Uh, you need to type exclamation join followed by your role chaos. That paladin, typing paladin DPS into chat's not going to do anything. It's just submitting a chat message. You've got to use the command followed by, you don't, I don't need to know you're a paladin. I don't care. It's just your role. 
So exclamation join a space, then either tank DPS healer or any combination of the three. Um, where's a good man? Six and a half levels. I'm all yours. Can't take me that long. Brilliant. Do the thing. Just using my, that mount myself. It's awesome. It is cool. All right. I do not want achievement tracking, um, but I will absolutely. Has Joel the Rube? Fun times. Oh, I've got it on all. Oh, I've collected everything from this difficulty. Switch to heroic instead. Well, I can't. I haven't, though. There's still other ones. What are you talking about, you numpty? Brilliant. Love Wrath Dungeons. They are pretty awesome. I'm just going through because I want to get the um, uh, 500 badges per toon. Well, I'm not going to be able to get through all tunes, obviously, but um, I reckon I can get through a few. Let's see if I can't buy some rewards and cross some things off my time warped badges list. I have my spreadsheet open on the other screen, because of course I do. I still have two mounts I need to get. Sophia's not going to buy anything, because I want to get her to 5k. Mm, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Except I don't think I can buy any mushrooms with these badges. Apologies to everyone who now has that stuck in their head for the rest of eternity. Someone badgering a mushroom? Always. Fears banned? Sure. I would like to see you try. <clears throat> Pretty sure the error message says something, something, I outrank you, bitch. <laughs> Could eat some mushrooms. Mushrooms are delicious. I know not everyone likes them, and that's okay. There's no no judgment here. Um, but I uh, I very much like mushrooms. Did they undertune this or something? Oh, that's a lie. That's a shared. That's a shared appearance. I'm the only cloth wearer in here. Fantastic. The power of me now being a boss mod. I bonk you on the noggin. Yeah, good good luck with that. Jas has tried that before. It has not it has not worked. Oh, by the way, Shiba, um, like obviously you're free to have a so for those of you who are who are very confused right now, um I we have two ranks of mods. I mean, obviously in Twitch chat they're the same and all that kind of stuff, but um uh, Rump, Royal Kiwi, and Jas in the Discord all have the rank of boss mod, which you may be able to see, like if you if you hover over them and stuff like that. They have their rank of boss mod, um, and that's because like they they are the people that I go to when I am like not just for like content advice and stuff like that, but also when I get an email, for example, who I, where I'm like, hmm, I, I need input on this, I want opinions, I don't know how to feel, or I think I feel this way, but I want to see what other people feel just to see, like, you know, is is this what I'm thinking it is? Kind of just, like, business stuff, not just, like, moderation, but actual running of the business kind of deal. Um, and Shiba, I asked Shiba if he would be comfortable stepping into that role as well. Um, and uh, he was. So Shiva also now has the boss mods role in the Discord. Um, so Shiva, there's like a whole fucking history of chat in that channel, as I'm sure you've seen, and all of the pinned messages and stuff, obviously, which is all confidential. But um, 
uh, yeah, feel free, like, if you have any questions about, because obviously, like, if, if we're in there and we start having a chat about something and it's in its reference to something we've talked about prior, because it's a small group, like, it's a really small group. We don't use that channel very often, like, super, super often. Um, but yeah, so if, if there's any kind of questions, you're like, wait, what the fuck? Please ask. Please let me know and we will, we will, like, um... Actual thing! Actual new transmog! Amazing. Amazing. Uh, and yeah, just just ask away and uh, and we'll let you know. Because it is important, like, for you to be able to help, you need to be able to know what the fuck's going on. So, <laughs> always happy to inform. And Mr. Five got a badge today. They both had their first jab. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations to them. Uh, I hated this guy. He often bugged out. He did, yeah. If people tried to pull him too fast or pull him to the wrong place and stuff like that, he did all sorts of won wonky shit, yeah. Um, Arboreal Gulper. I'm guessing that this is a guess for the mount makeup. And the answer is no. So I do have this mount. It, it does not fly. It is a ground mount. And um, it's it's a bit of an interesting one. It's a bit of an interesting one. So I have some brown in my crease. Um... I'm not sure if you can see it too well, but there's a, cause it's a little bit closer to my skin tone, but it is still quite dark, but plus it's also next to some pretty fucking dark colors. Um, so there's, there's some brown up in the top here. And then on the outside corners, I've got a really dark green, uh, a, like a really dark green. And then on my lid, I have a really dark blue. That's the kind of simplified thing I've put together. But I quite like the way this has turned out. I, I think it's quite dramatic, but like not punch in the face dramatic. So it's cool. Deadly boss mod. Yay, Shiva, indeed. On fire, Radgar, yes. For sure, I haven't had a chance to read back yet. I will certainly be scooting through. Oh yeah, it look, there's um, <laughs> there's nothing to unbelievably, like a lot of it is just us shit talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, like as you probably saw with Rumps, kind of. But it's kind of that's the way it sort of goes. Is that like I'll be like, "Hey guys, what the fuck?" And Rump will say like, you know, useful information, fantastic advice, hella shit talking. Um, and that's sort of the formula for for the responses in that channel. Um, it's great. It's great. Um, yeah. Uh, Blue Mechanostrider. No, Black Dragon Turtle. Yes. <laughs> yes, Yuri, you did a win. <laughs> Can I have a number from you between 1 and 100, please? I'm sure we had a guy who died to fall damage twice back there. Oh, no. Tell the Arshibs is we dope. Yeah, basically. Laughs in Path of Frost. Yeah, whenever I'm in a group with Jas, I always have to tilt my camera down because I can never trust him. Did the wins. You did the wins. You did the wins. 34. All right, give me a second, because I'm actually in the boss fight, as well as doing the battle, which I can't actually see what's going on. Let's try that. There we go. Um, do you, with your, with your Microsoft Redemption, I am assuming that you're going to let me sort of do the wording as to my opinion, so that whenever someone comes in, we can just drop the command and go for it, or is that something you wanted to submit your own wording for? Your call. Obviously, your redemption, but just wanted to double check. Yeah. Blood for the blood god, bones for the Melvin corpse. <laughs> Look, you're not wrong. Are we gonna win our first battle of the day, you guys? Now go for it. Cool, thank you, I appreciate it. That way I can get it uh, whipped up tonight so we can give it a workout tomorrow during the marathon stream because no fucking doubt. Na 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 na. Oh, we lost one of the DPS. What did they do? Ah, oh, they must have stood in a noob's spiky. 
this boss. It just takes so long. Whip it good. Who's your current healer in that group out of curiosity? Uh, knock. Spelt as you would in English. As in knock on the door. There, a druid. What a name. Yeah, occasionally you find characters like that and you're like, you know what? You have had that character for a long time. I have someone on my ignore list whose name is literally AA. Like. Uh, I'm sure with the kid list, like, and the list is doing weird things to audio. Oh, dupe, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Um. I fancy letters or anything. Nope, just AA. Two A's, sorry, I'm j we're about to finish off a noob. There we go. I got loot from, I think, every boss. Good. Okay, um, that's it from this one, so I'm gonna leave instance group. Um, no, you can't see WoW. That's right, because I was in the middle of something and I still need to do something here. Um, congratulations to Veal, Fade, and Cheerful on your bonus shit. Well done. I can hang out with them. I know, but I'm sorry that the stream is behaving like a shit. That's really sucky. That's really sucky. I know it was a wrong screen intentionally. I knew it was up. It's because I had to do that. And if I switched and then switched back and all that kind of bullshit, it just would have been messy. So, um, and because a noob had like literally 3% health left. So, uh, I can't place the war beast. I can place the buster. Have you seen my exploding sheep buster, you guys? Just in case you haven't. Isn't it just the most adorable? Yeah, cool. Now you have. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to hop to... Where am I turning this one in? Dalaran. Good, because that's where somewhere I can port. Um, Dalaran Northrend. Noob. Right, 34 was Fiori, wasn't it? This is the best shortened name. Anub. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's an interesting name for a game. The Dwarves. The dwarves. There you go. Congratulations. Um, let's go turn this baby in. Can I assist you? Unstable prism complete. Five hundred time warp badges. So I have two six five two on uh, at the moment. So she's got 2,652. So I'm over halfway to a, to a mount. That's not bad. That's not bad. So I'm going to hop on the often. And we're going to jump onto the druid. Unfortunately, I cannot tank on this character. <laughs> Why, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so silly. So silly. I've run out of ginger beer and it makes me sad. Oh, hey Jas, you should absolutely do the soda stream thing. Should we give form and spam thrash? Actually, I'd probably just go get me a macro. I just don't think I should heal. Yeah, you should absolutely do the soda stream thing because remember how some of those syrups expire soon? You should probably check that and like make up some drink. <laughs> I haven't done it in like a week and so it hasn't been done because, you know. <laughs> I have a built in macro, it's called Thrash. Look, look. 
Alrighty, let me have a look at the thing here. Bought a new soda stream bottle that's apparently dishwasher safe. Oh, I would like that. Was that an actual like soda stream branded bottle or is it like an alternative that's like That's so interesting. Did it cost seven times as much as the standard bottles? Oh, I have a Guardian one. I still don't think I should do it just because I'm not with a healer I trust um, and so I can't like work with them. That's okay. It will be safer for me to be deeps. Uh, all right, so because I'm not queuing up with three DPS because it'll take seven years, I see, can you whisper me in game please? I'm on Faylin, that's F-A-Y-L-I-N-N. -N. Or if you're in the community, wait, am I in the community on this? No, why would I do that? Oh no, I am. Are all of my tunes in the community, I wonder? I'm here. So yeah, I'm I'm in the community. I wonder if it joins you on all your characters if you Well, Alexia's not in here. But maybe because I'm not on her? I don't know. I'm not sure if it joins you per per character or per um uh, account. What you doing anyway? I am doing time walking. Thank you, Shiva. Shiva. Book CK3, give me X pack already. It's legit. Bottle, it was 11 CAD. What are the regular ones in, in CAD so I can like compare like to like? Because I don't know how much the ones in Australia are anyway. Uh, as you made him a little offended, upset, or you know how easy Thresh spam is. <laughs> Uh, it only joins you per character, annoyingly. Ah, oh, that does suck a little bit. Although, I can understand, though, Warm, like, if you want to join on one character, but, like, keep the rest of them sort of private, so that, you know, I, I know people who would, like, um, like, they would have a couple of characters who weren't in the guild, and those are the tunes that they'd play when they didn't want to talk to anyone from the guild kind of thing. So I, I get it, but at the same time, yeah, it's a little... Maybe they should give us a checkbox, like, join all my tunes or something. Obviously with a different wording, but still. I wonder what like the logistics of that programming wise in the background would be. 14 minutes, fuck me. If there are any tanks or healers out there who are willing to join, uh, exclamation join space tank healer DPS, whichever ones you can do to jump in the queue. Um, I found you in community, you're in stealth mode, super sneaky cat form perhaps. I think it's because um, on the Battle.net launcher I'm a peer offline. <laughs> Range from 11 to 15. Okay, so they're like normal price. Okay, I'm gonna have to see if I can get them in Australia. All right, if Jazz is coming, I can invite Chaos as well. Um, Lady Chaos, do you wanna shoot me a DM? Um, and we can we can bring you as well. The only, I don't wanna, I don't wanna queue as just three DPS. But if we have a tank or a healer, I'm happy to take 3 DPS. Shit. Um, so... Lady Chaos, can you DM me in-game? I am Phelan hyphen Saofang. F-A-Y-L-I-N-N for November. If you're offline too and don't show up as well, there you go. Good point about people who want to play alone sometimes. I hide offline on Battle.net. Guildy still message me, I know this is mean, but come on, get the hint, right? This is, so, uh, Warm, I absolutely have myself on a peer offline 100% of the time, unless I have to turn it on for some reason. Because when I'm not, every approximately seven to nine minutes, I get a DM. Are you streaming? When are you streaming next? Are you online yet? Are you streaming tonight? What are you doing on stream tonight? Uh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. I'm not at work. Piss off. <laughs> Go away. So yeah, no, I uh, I am a pure offline. <laughs> like, I love that people are interested, but holy fuck, there are so many places on the internet that you can find that information. Do not be a lazy ass and DM me when I am clearly having my personal time. Like, fuck off. <laughs> 
Are you strim? Exactly, Candy. That's exactly right. 100%. How do I whisper you? You type slash W space F-A-Y-L-I-N-N hyphen Saofang. That's S-A-U-R-F-A-N-G. Thank you, Shiva. I, I've, we have said that a couple times before, though. Um, I don't know what I'm reading. I haven't read it for like two months or eternal offline. Yeah, I am um, every week. Every, every week. The Battle.net launcher says, you've been a peer offline for seven days. Would you like to go online? And I said, no. <laughs> I like, I flick it occasionally just to like reset the counter, you know, offline for X number of months and stuff like that. Like I, I, I reset that counter every so often, but um, no. Aren't you online yet for you? Fuck. Online, I wish you came on so we can watch you. <laughs> she grab names as you go. Oh, Shiba, you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe when we pick a person, maybe when, when I do the button and it comes up the thing, we can like tag them in chat and be like, please, da 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 da. To, to join the game. How you doing, Chaos? Shiba gave you a copy paste to use? What's going on? Um, I wanna join, I wanna do a dungeon. Um, say I did actually see you online once before Christmas. I was so confused. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I turn it on during a stream for like actual requirement purposes, uh, and I forget to turn it off again, and then I get a whisper, when are you next streaming? And so I turn it off again. <laughs> Uh, it just look. I I appreciate that people care, and I appreciate that people want to tune in and all. I get that. I get it. But fuck, man. It's in Discord. It's on Twitter. It's on the Twitch. Like if you go onto my Twitch page and I'm not online, you can click the schedule tab, and it will literally tell you when my next stream is in your time zone, what I'm going to be streaming, everything you could need to know possibly. Like, and then it's not working. What is the error message you're getting, Chaos? Not working is, we can't, we can't troubleshoot that. Um, the amazing thing about your spreadsheet is you numbered your tunes. Yeah, I did. So that, and you know why I did that, is so that if I, I don't want to sort by level anymore, I can sort by order and then sort, and then sort by faction and it'll put Horde 1 to 30 and then Alliance 1 to 20 in the same order that it is in game. Fucking love my spreadsheets. Might have to steal that for mine. Go for it. 100% go for it. But yeah, there is a reason There is a reason for everything in my spreadsheet. Nothing is there for funsies. Everything has a purpose. Yep, Chaos, you need to be Horde. You need to be on North America slash Oceanic servers. Um, I, we need to do dungeons. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. Um, Alright, I'm gonna... What a month or... Well, I don't know what... Okay, I asked you what the error message was and you didn't tell me. When you, when you type it in and it says, like, w when you type it in and it doesn't work, what does it say in chat? What is it saying? The spreadsheets once through them, taking through them all over the room. I did pick them up again later. There's actually, there's a, um, uh, what's it in the affiliate specials channel in Discord? Humble have a pack of Excel courses worth, like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars that you can, like do so if if you're someone who but it is specifically excel and excel and google sheets do work differently um but yeah it's like it's handy i'm guessing that ish acts up which is why jas is asking me to come to Uldum. All right, Chaos, um, I've asked you twice and you still haven't told me what the error message is, so we can't help you. If I go out here and we kill Ishak, I'm going to queue up straight away. And because we've got Jas in the party, it's going to auto pop. So if you can't figure out how to, like, we we've told you exactly what to type in game. If it's not working, it will provide you with an error message. Like that player is not online or that player is blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, you cannot join that player because you're in a different faction or something. Like there's, there will be an error message. You need to tell us what that is or we cannot help you. End of story. I want to help you but I cannot with the information you've given us. Um. 
keep in mind you actually have to whisper me something. You can't just type in, you can't just paste it and then hit enter. Like, you actually have to say something to me. It's like whisper to Phelan, nothing. What's it gonna send me? So like whisper to Phelan, hi, or it's chaos or, or something. Do you know what I mean? Like you have to say something. <laughs> That's how whispers work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um a bunch of whispers saying something. Yeah, look. <laughs> I can only do what I can do, eh, sorry. This will be attempt number 30. Fucking aiming it towards me to knock me back during Convoke? You're an asshole, Jazz. Why you do? I'm trying to help. But are you streaming? Holy fuck, I block you so fast. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Exclamation join, Shiba, not slash join. Slash join won't do anything. Look, it's fine, it's fine. I just saw that, I was like, ah, oh, thank you so much for posting that, but also there's a typo. <laughs> Mash trash, <laughs> please no. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I just, I feel like six hours is too long, hey. Just everyone got kind of tapped out and had to go and do their own thing and we didn't have enough people. And playing it with the bots, oh god, the bots are terrible. The bots are so terrible. I'm crying. I think we might pull it out of the box again um, after surgery number two because I won't be able to do a full stream. But, like, I won't have to, you know? Just do a slightly shorter stream. That's a bit more helpful, not in a kitchen. No. I think because you have to click them. Because you have to click them to get them to do stuff rather than, like, yeah, there's just, it's an extra layer of shit to pay attention to, and it's just too much. It's just too much. All right, let's go. <sighs> Thank you, Hefi. I'm moving the dragon around so much. Is that a no, no tail mechanic? He also knows that Ishak doesn't have a tail mechanic. Uh, I want to be on early for the next time you do that game so I can take part. Heaps, of course! Of course, I see. Well, you'll know. You'll know when it's being played because the announcement will be there. Like, there'll be... Yeah, it'll be a thing. Ishak has a tail, yes. Indeed. Indeed. Look, a quest. I watch. I listen. Three quests. Jesus. I serve the Banshee Queen. How are there only three things two things I need in here? That's interesting. <clears throat> um, did you give Chaos time to switch into healer spec? And stuff, or did it? Does it switch you automatically? Oh, the quests! I hope Isha doesn't have a drop. 
Not mechanic either, apparently. <laughs> it's alright, it's only 30 attempts and it's a 1 in 100, so... The pain in the ass with Ishak is his 3 hour spawn timer. That's the problem. Like, I don't care so much the 1 in 100. Um, you don't have a healer, Jess. The healer's still down the, the stairs. Please watch, yeah? And Chaos, you need to, if you're gonna heal, you need to pay attention, keep up, yeah? Cause, um, Jas will pull shit. He can heal himself a lot of the time, but he does need a healer still. Um. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, the the only issue with the shack is I can only get in like two, maybe three attempts each day. Um, because of the spawn timer. Um. But I've been doing that. I'm sitting at 30 now. That was my 30th attempt, which is nice. Um, I'll get there eventually. I kind of, like, I do my garrisons in the morning and then I go park fear out there. And, uh, I do my work stuff, you know, I check my socials, I do my emails, I, I do whatever needs to be done, do some housework, maybe that kind of stuff. And, um, <clears throat> and then I hear the alarm go off and I run into the bedroom and kill the Ishak. Kill the Ishak. Okay, crying for some snuggles. Aww. All the quests. Had to switch. That's odd. Usually it's supposed to switch for you. That's so strange. Getting quests. Yeah, Jas needs to pay attention. Like, he needs to realize that his healer is a whole room behind him and not pull the whole fucking room. Like he is wont to do usually. Just because I'm keeping up with you doesn't mean your healer isn't. I can't heal you. Um, hey, Kanna. How you going? Welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, healing Jas is not for the uh, uh, weak in constitution. <laughs> he uh, he goes hardcore. He goes hardcore. Hey, a little. How you doing? Welcome. I'm now friendly with the Sun Reavers. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. I don't do um, reputations on anyone other than Fear, which is why I'm now struggling with the Alliance reputations for those mounts. But yeah, it's great. It's great. Who's keen for Marathon tomorrow? Who's keen for the marathon stream tomorrow? How many 50s do you reckon we're gonna have? That's a boss! That's a boss! You fucking idiot. That's a boss. <clears throat> marathon, yay! Thank you. I'm very excited for the marathon. You have a bunch of ads that are attacking a range at the back, Jess. What are you doing? That's not new. That's a shared appearance. But I guess it'll be useful when I switch over to uh, Unique or whatever.
Oh, they took Pitocero out, didn't they? <gasps> That's right. I just remembered. Lily P. Usual, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I really like the colors in the eyeshadow today. It looked a little bit funky when I was first putting them on, but then, like, once I blended everything together, it just, like, ugh, oh, I really like it. Uh, hello, Scarlet. I made the great investment of buying Zygo Guides. Wonderful. I hope you're enjoying it. You seem to be, with the, the word great in there. So that's good to hear. I'm glad it's working for you. Zygo is wonderful. I love cycles. Like, it's just so useful. I use them all the goddamn time. All the goddamn time. And I'm going to be using them all 12 hours tomorrow. I wonder how many 50... Like, I wonder if I'll actually be able to finish the 50... Excuse me, 50-50s tomorrow. That'll be one hell of a milestone, hey? Can we complete the entire human starting zone? Fantastic! Fantastic. Dagger of Betrayal, eh? Let's see if we can pick it up. One. You, you were worthless. Warriors, death. <sighs> Nothing for fear. Well, for Phelan, technically. So slow, Jess. So weird seeing you as an iPhone. It's like wrong. Happy Friday, Kay. Hope you're doing well. If you'd like to join in in the next time walking dungeon, you can type exclamation join followed by tank healer DPS, depending on what role you can fill. Uh, exclamation join tank healer DPS, depending on what you can. Re if you can fill multiple roles, then feel free to stick multiple roles in. If you've already been in a dungeon, if you want to jump in again, you've got to enter the enter the queue again, because it would have removed you from the queue. <laughs> Well, she should be an expensive week, but yay for the weekend. I feel that. I feel that. My life for the death god. It's more fun to not hide, though. Oh, damned. Arise. 
Can't wait to knuckle down into some leveling. Ah, yes, yeah, Scarlet. We're going to be doing 12 hours of it tomorrow. Right here. <clears throat> Marathon stream tomorrow. Putting some work into the 50-50s. In fact, we might even finish it. There is the potential that I might actually finish it. Some unique dead new mattress. Gosh, mattresses are costly. They are. They are. But they also last like a decade or something. Well, they're, they're supposed to at least. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go turn these quests in first. And then I'm going to head and turn in that time warp prism. <clears throat> now, switch tunes. I want my last one. It's been that long. Yeah. I can remember when I got mine, but that's because it was only like four-ish years ago. It's an Ikea mattress. I do need new pillows though. I need to make a shopping list to take with me to Ikea next time. Thank you, Shiva. Yes, if you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join, tank healer DPS. You can rejoin the queue after your dungeon is over as My well. Ellis, in fact, you can jump you. you can jump straight into the queue once your name has been called by the bot in chat. Once it's been called, like, you know, next up, blah, blah, blah. It means you've been removed from the queue and you can jump back in. Um, but I do recommend joining the group before you do I so. Watch. Just because otherwise see. we're going to be waiting on you and that's going to be um, a thing. How do I get to... I think I just go to Org, don't I? The dark visions have come to pass. The oh, hey, Jazz. Empire rises in um, you. I'm... Must push it back before it is too late. And a half. Because she's like, like, ages ago on a laptop. Yep, yep. na 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 I have more hydrates to drink. I have a chest room redemption, but I don't think I need that just yet. There should be a portal in Dal to go back to old Dal, rather than having to go to Orgrimmar and then to like, you know, you know, uh, I like being guided through things. Yeah, me too. Like, you just follow the arrow of destiny. It's great. It's awesome. I'm not sure we have a healer option. I used to love healing, especially Matthew. You should, I see. Maybe tomorrow, while you're watching stream, maybe you can level as well. I, like, I half expect everyone to just be doing some kind of leveling. Like, let's be real. Oh, excuse me. I'm usually DPS. Totally fine, Chaos. Like I said before, if you if you want a DPS, that's fine. Q is DPS. You do not. No one has to do anything they don't want to or anything they don't feel comfortable doing. It's totally fine. Uh, Zam, Zondra, Cheerful, Viewer, and Bay. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit, and it's a token chest. Token chest. Make sure you place your units if you want a token bonus tokens. If you want bonus tokens, I can. Yep, I know what I'm doing. Sure. Uh, looks like I'm leveling units again. Let's pop that down. We'll jump on over to here. That's when I couldn't stand playing WoW before I got Zygo. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I loved it anyway, but it's it is different. It's definitely a different experience. All right, so Phelan has 1,580. She's also saving up for a mount, so she's not gonna go buying anything just yet. Um, ooh, that's, oh, right. I'm like, why is Alexia all the way down here? It's because Alexia is specifically saving up to buy a tailoring pattern. Um, so, I'm just gonna log out here, it's fine. I'll, I'll send them all back later. Uh, alrighty, Alexia. I think this particular recipe, I think this particular pattern is bot, but the other ones are BOE. Maybe? I don't remember exactly. 
I remember I look I did the I did the research. There there would have been a reason I put Alexia where I put her. So it's fine. Hmm. Alrighty. First thing we're going to do is invite Jas. Jas, do you have the reins of the Infinite Time River yet? Oh, it's join chaos, not inv. It's in your joining the queue. Um. That. And then we have the three of you. I'm currently on Alexia. Saofang. If the three of you could whisper me and I will inviterate you. Thank you, Shiba. Shiba's given you the copy paste to be able to whisper me. Easily. Hey, Adori, how you doing? Um, and if anyone would like to join in for the next dungeon, this one is full. I think we need one of us to cure his heals. Shit, okay. Um... We might actually- Chaos is the last one in the thing, so I think we might have to go as the four of us and then bring Chaos to the next one, because I can't fit another DPS in. I just completely spaced, because I'm an empty. That's okay. Um... Love ranks. Um, do you know if Tranquilizing Shot will remove peace bubbles? I have no idea. Nope. No idea. Uh, is it good, my brother has COVID? It's okay, Dory. It's okay. There are literally hundreds of thousands of people who have COVID at the moment. Um, both of my step-siblings, a handful of my extended family members, and a fuckload of family friends, plus some very, very close friends here in Brisbane. I, I know at least 20 to 25 people who have it at the moment. And none of them are in hospital, none of them are any worse than uh, a cold. They're all- they're all vaccinated. All of them are at least double vaxxed. Some of them have their boosters. So as long as your brother has been vaccinated, he should- he should be okay. But just, yeah, listen- listen to the medical professionals. Um, cool. Alright. Let us do the thing. I don't think we have a healer, but that's okay. We'll get one from the queue, no doubt. After seven hours, it's fine. <clears throat> so is he? Good. I'm glad to hear he's vaccinated. Then in that case, it, it should be a, like, it's not like it was two years ago. Well, just under two years ago. It's not like it was a year ago or, or 18 months ago. It's a lot, like a lot, a lot better. Self-isolating in his room? Yep. That's it. That's it. Average wait time. Two minutes. Pretty sure Trank Shot does. I vaguely remember using it to dispel bubbles when I did some PvP early in Shadowlands. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea. I I play a mage, and a mage is involved in neither Tranquilizing Shot nor Priest Bubbles, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what classic zone I'm gonna start in. Roll a dice. Trank does not remove bubbles, only enrage frenzy effects. Uh, and I feel fine. Fantastic! Spell steal? Yeah, but that's not Trank shot and that's not what the question was. It wasn't what can remove priest bubbles. You know? So Trank does Enrage and Magic on Tooltip. I just don't know if that counts as a Priest Bubble for certain. Go. 
long two minutes. Uh, I like where I had is missing something in its tooltip. Interesting. Yeah, it may not have it may just not have updated the image of it in a while. Um oh no because they don't just take screenshots do they they generate them static. That's odd. Is it maybe a talent that makes it do magic or a conduit that makes it do magic as well? Something like that? Like there might be something editing it there. So the tooltip on Wowhead's right but the tooltip in game is also correct, just because you've got some other things adding to it. Can I imagine it'll work on Bruce Bubble? Yes. Ooh. That quest is going to give me something that, um, <laughs> that I don't have yet. So that's cool. I'm glad this is the one I got dropped into then. Uh, I'm pretty sure Frenzy bring a BC Trink, which is useless. Uh, Zygos set to where I don't when the public location. Brilliant! Lots of PvP in those tunnels in Wrath. Yeah, if you were on the right server, absolutely. Pretty sure I'd transferred off PvP realms by the point by that point. Just cause like fuck man, I'm just trying to quest. Just trying to get shit done. Why you have to kill me? Oh Kill the web wraps! Especially, you know, when your healers and stuff are in them, otherwise people die. Release and run back. It's literally just down the path. At least and run back. Cool, and we lost the healer. Can we please make sure that we like actually break web wraps and shit? Because that's why they left. They were sitting there for a good couple minutes, just unable to do anything. Oh, not, not a couple minutes, that's an exaggeration, but like. Have to pay attention to this shit. Boss. Do we pull the boss as well? Oh, right, it's all part of the same thing. I always forget that. <sighs> this is fun. Most entertaining stream in the world. And fucking fantastic. They're all part of the boss, Jess. You gotta pull them one pack at a time. It is slow. It's wrath. Otherwise, your healer will fucking leave the group again. Treat them kindly, please. I don't want to be sitting on this boss for the next three hours. <clears throat> you pull too many of them and you get too many web wraps out. You don't have enough people out to be able to break the web wraps and then everyone wipes and dies. Changes they did in 915. Good, good.
behind you. Oh, there we go. This kingdom belongs to the scourge. Only the dead may enter. Thank you, Shiba. If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join. Tank healer DPS. You can rejoin the queue after your dungeon is over as well. Ooh, transmog, yay! Yay for transmog. The gate has been breached. Quickly, the Oh, you might want to back up just because you're going to pull all those and they constantly spawn. It's it's a gauntlet. You're going to be like. So, stuff you don't need to pull. Is there a minimum level? I think it's 50. People were saying that they couldn't join because they weren't 50. Um, but if, you, if you're if you on a character and you open up your dungeon thing, and then you if you've got time walking dungeons there, if it's greyed out, it'll tell you why. Fifty for time walking. There you go. So I've got thirty-two tunes. You can do it. <laughs> God, I can't believe that. Thirty-two level fifty characters. I I just like I've always said. Oh, it'd be nice to have an army of alts, you know. And I never really thought. And even when I set myself the challenge, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But then, like now that it's actually happening, and I'm almost there, it's like holy shit. I actually have an army of usable ults, almost. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. They don't, like, I mean, going up to Legion and stuff like that, they're still a little bit useless, but, um, it's like, that's not that bad, though. That's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. So thanks, just so no which tunes to bring. Not bring, of course, of course. Keep in mind, we can't pick which dungeons to do. It's just whichever of the Wrath Time Walking dungeons it sticks us into. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah. The, the list of dungeons is somewhere. I'm sure it's on Warehead or something like that. All Wrath Time Walking Gear. Perfect. Perfect. I've collected everything from this difficulty. I have not... Fuck you, Blizz. Can't use Path of Frost? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Alrighty. <clears throat> Love the Sarge's tail mount. Absolutely. It's very cute. Nubarak. Get a blade from him. Eternal agony awaits you. So you're getting to instance only see the bulk of transmog I need is for time walking for all X Packs. They share appearances though. Have you got it on unique mode or something? Like on, on completionist mode or something? They like, they share. Oh no, this one doesn't. That's oh yeah, it does. It's got a different, it's just got a different one, which will be the heroic version. Oh, you're on completionist. Okay. Yeah, that's why then. Fair. Please <laughs> flesh. 
yeah, I, I have enough to do with not completionists, so I thought, let's just let's just see how far we can get with this one, and then maybe I'll bump it up later. Bump up the difficulty of the game later. There's so much to do, even without that, for me, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Go insane mode. Yeah, look. Look. You're not wrong. I just, I feel like there's so much else to do in the game that I can't imagine going with insane mode. I just, like, I feel like I'd be eliminating everything else there is to do in the game. Just to try to, do you know, I... Uh, I don't know. I just find myself being torn in so many different directions. But this is fine. Four streams a week. God. Fucking Mount Farm Monday. Wildcard Wednesday. Just have fun with whatever. Leveling on Fridays, except. And then Transmog on Sundays. We'll find something to do on Fridays to replace it. It'll be fine. Let's see, it's in so many directions. God damn. My god. My god. Oh, I got the blade! Look! Amazing. Amazing. Um, can I- oh, I can go this way. Awesome. Oh, I have to wait. Come on, move your butt. Move your butt. If you didn't face so often, I know, I know. This, we still did good though, Jess. You did good. You did good. Wrong. Shared appearance. All right, I'm gonna leave the instance group and I'm gonna go to Dalaran and turn in the prism. If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join tank killer or DPS. You can rejoin the queue as well after uh, after as well. Character must be 50 plus to join, uh, and you can list more than one role as well. What else drops mounts in Uldum? Nothing that's up at the moment except maybe corpse feaster. Maybe I don't know if they're up or not. Um, uh, Rot Feaster, oh, corpse, whatever, I don't know, um, but Rot Feaster isn't up at the moment, so I, I can't do that one. Um, this is a waste marauder, but if you've got handy notes, it should have any, it should have things on the map for anything that killed, anything you haven't killed that drops something you don't have. Let's go upstairs. Turn this in. I do have the quest, don't I? Wait, did I not? Why did it not give me a thingy? It didn't give me a thingy. Maybe I've already got one in my bank. Because I know they're unique. I might already have one in my bank. Oops. Got it. Yeah. He's level 45. Well, it's very close, I see. Very close. Yeah, what do you want? I do. Still one in my have fucking bank. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. 
Check me out. Nah, I was looking through the- it did, I, I knew it was in my fucking bank. I would have held on to it but didn't want to turn it or couldn't turn it in or fucking- Look, I'm lazy, but this- this 2022 is year of the event. I'm gonna get all this shit done. We're gonna buy all the things. And then- and go again with that character. No, because it's a- it's a per event. Me like me picking a hand- like turning in the quest. It doesn't- it doesn't count it as each- event is a separate quest ID. It just says she's done this quest ID this time round. That's it. Greetings. Uh, all right. So I have, ah, oh, 2090, 2090. I actually have enough to buy this pattern. Where does one get it? Um, Old pattern robe of winter night. This one. It's catter time walking. <laughs> and it's 1500, which means that I have 590 left. So I've got enough for that. There's the portable yak washes 500. That's going to be mop. Crossbow of relentless strikes. Can I use a crossbow on this one? I don't think I can. Oh no, I can. It's fucking, of course I can. Uh, it's BC. Ah, oh, BC. That's wrong. Okay. Um, Staff of the Forest Lord. I don't think I can use staves. Can I? Which is why it's not turning up in this list. Um, Staff of Solita, Blade of the Harbingers. The Blade of the Harbingers. Where, where is this one? Can I not use it, maybe? Oh, maybe it's a two-hander. Ice barbed spear. Actually, you know what I should just fucking do? My goods are of the highest quality. Let's just fucking talk. Okay, so there's a few things I can get without putting me down past 1500. So I can get the Shadow Seeker's tunic. That can delete. I can pick up boots of Captain Ellis. Twenty-five as well. Uh, cat burglar's grips. There's nothing else that I can buy at this point, hey. That's gonna, like, I can spend 515 and I can't here. Um. Mineral bot. And these are 750, so I can't buy those. Urgh. Okay. That's okay. Nothing I can spend now. That's all right. Like that's Boogie that's probably down. good news. Fifteen. Twenty. Two thousand fifteen. That I've got. Okay. That's cool. On to the Death Knight. Uh, give you a second one in mail if I remember correctly. Oh, she didn't have any mail. Um, where did I didn't know. There you go. Yeah, you can only send me once per event. Yes. 
made my future a level 60 is fantastic you shall be making a spreadsheet later yes indeed i love my spreadsheets keep on saving um well no i've got enough for what i need from her um but yeah i will absolutely keep saving because beyond that there'll be um all the the fucking shit for upgrading heirlooms and stuff uh so fingers crossed Fingers crossed, but I'm hoping that every single time walking event I can send a bunch of my tunes through. But we'll see how we go. Exclamation join, followed by your role, tank healer or DPS, if you want to join in for time walking. Um Thank you, Shiba. I'm gonna invite the Jess. And then there'll be space for two more DPS, so one, two. Um, you can't join if you're already in the queue, Chaos. you got to wait for your name to be called before you can rejoin. Uh, so Chaos and Meaty, could you please both whisper me in-game? I'm on Repressly. Uh, and we will get this show on the road. Why the fuck is Mop the only port that isn't a capital city? Because fuck you. It is, it is annoying, yes. I mean, there's also, like, the Caverns of Time, which is not a capital city. Yeah, Refressily. They're wrong. Are they the wrong way around in the spreadsheet? Or did I just take long enough that you thought I'd gone through two? Ah, oh, seems like this. I wish I could play with OC people who have stuck with EU. That's okay, grossly. Like, it... I, I get it. It... It is what it is. It is what it is. And we understand. Skipped over Refressily by mistake. Ah, okay. I thought maybe I'd fucked up and put the wrong numbers in the spreadsheet or something. Just waiting on Meaty to send us Whisper, and I can invite, and then we'll queue. Listen up all around tonight. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. It's just the pressure of the big promotion that comes with literally zero benefits. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shaking in my boots, I'm sure. I'm sure you are. That does not surprise me in the slightest. So you should be something. So I don't know. Fucking look, look. Struggling to whisper. Ah, uh, you just need to copy and paste what Shiba popped. Yeah, the second one, not the first one. Um, because Shiba got it wrong the first time. I was on. It was the wrong tune. You just have a look through the messages. Yep. You just gotta copy and paste that in. And make sure you're actually sending a message and not just like blank, because it won't do that. And of course, make sure you're on a horde tune. Very useful. Go. that oh no go away um all right let us do this while i do this you and just sounded voice comes. I closed Discord off earlier when we were having those issues. Like I closed it completely. I probably should like reopen it or something, but like uh... how many whispers mins do you think I'm gonna get that literally say your name? Though. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> the Microsoft purchase of Activision, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't, it doesn't affect us in the slightest for a long while yet. It is an intent to purchase. They still have to submit it for all the regulatory approvals and shit. Um, it may be denied for any number of reasons. And then after that, 
like, who the fuck knows? Nothing, like, nothing may change. Everything may change. It just, there is zero point investing any in, in any energy into it at the moment. There's just no point. Um, cool. So I, I have, I saw it and I went, oh, wow, that's interesting. And then I moved on. Because there's no point. Um, Dunno, Gribben, Bjorn, and Faden, congratulations to you all on your bonus shits. Well done. There we go. I'll we'll start up our next dungeon, dungeon battle. We'll start up our next battle. Oops. Um, can I place Buster a war beast? I can't place a war beast, but I can place a Buster, so I'm gonna do that. Awesome. Cool. The Nexus. Let's do this. Oh wow, so many quests. Holy shit. I forgot Hello. about these. Have a good one. How are you? Oh, it's... See you around. That's what hey happens there. when you're on when you Same have a done travel. alts. You need something? I need everything. Here we go. Mmm, it is until people see any change. Even that is like, who knows? And it, it like I don't care. <laughs> like I just I I just genuinely could not care less. Uh something have you healer so behind I have how German it's totally fine, I see. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. As long as you have fun, that's what matters. That's what matters. Need to click, kill the ice block back here as well. Nice one. Where in the don't just stand around that kill somebody. <laughs> kill somebody. Isn't that the boss? Yeah, don't pull the whole room. It may be time walking, but we're not in Wrath. You need to not do that. I was going, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, just had a wipe on the first boss in. Uh, it's not even the first boss, just a name mob in here. Um, because we pulled like the whole fucking room. But that's fine. Yeah, your healer's not here yet. So just be careful. Just for pulling the whole room. I know, right? I know. What is he doing? Ah, that's fine. If there was a knockback, I did not see a knockback, but if there was one, then yeah, that's absolutely terrible. You want to pull like one pack at a time. <clears throat> Why did we get lust? Oh no, they got lust, my bad. Are fucking terrible. It's so annoying. I'll just pull them back here. Yeah. Don't just stand around that. Kill somebody. What? 
That what just happened? Hey Sam, just doing some time walking. Hope you're doing well. Working on getting some time warp badges across a bunch of tunes to try to collect them all. I want to see if I can buy everything by the end of the year. We'll see how we go. I've still got two mounts left to get, so... Got a ways to go. my 12 hour shift. Ah, so we race till the end. Nice, nice. Well, I hope work has treated you kindly. Hundred IQ if you ask me. Brilliant. Is a boss. Is it like a bonus boss or something? It must be. Me. I was wondering why my cat was yelling. I realized my dad was the one who put food in her bowl for dinner, which means she didn't see me specifically putting food in her bowl. I scooped a tiny bit of kibble into her bowl and she went and walked away casually. Little shit. Like, I mean, are they, are they seriously, like, are they super, super intelligent or are they fucking idiots? Like. Creatures of habit. Yeah, but like, what if, what if in the first however long that you have them, you alternate every single day as a different person putting food in their bowl? Will they just learn that food in bowl means I can eat it or what? Uh, yeah, that's what Gnome Sequencer Enhanced will do for you. Um, third choice, demanding assholes. Nah, fuck that. Nah. If my cat refuses to eat because, like, my partner fed them or whatever, then they can just not eat. Because, nah, I'm not here for that. They will learn to just eat when someone feeds them. Like, fuck off. Not happening. She did heat from her bowl. Then what's the problem then? I don't understand. Careful, you poop. Yep, yeah, the boss. <clears throat> I was just pacing around, yelling about it. Ah, I got over it. <laughs> Noise cancelling headphones. sleep under to me. Yeah, I, um, I would not, like, I, I couldn't. I couldn't, like. Death becomes you. If they want to come see me, they can come see me, but if you fucking stand on the other side of the house and just cry about it, then no. You, you know, you're fine. You can move. You can come here. Like, <laughs> There's plenty of need to go around. You know what they say. 
Never seen my cats eat the feral, and I hate to keep them away. They live in the middle of a massive field. You, you don't need to see them eat, because you don't you don't feed them. I presume they like they find their food, they hunt their food. Do you not personally feed me and send a servant instead? Run these the first one the other day. It was really fun. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's awesome news. They are a lot of fun. It's a it's a good stroll down memory lane. This is the boss that dropped me my infinite time river. On my I think it was on a rogue or a mouse. I can't remember exactly, but um. Yeah, this is the boss that dropped me my infinite time reaver. Maybe twice a week at most. Showing off for a bit to get dinner, watch a tennis match, enjoy. It's just very, very chatty, brilliant. Join, yes, perfect. Love that. Love that. I'm really excited to see what the new kitten will be like when you grow up, little bandit and monster. Partners in crime. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now to finish the job. If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join tank healer DPS. You can put more than one role if desired. You can rejoin the queue after as well. The character must be 50 plus to join. Thank you so much, Shiva. Much appreciated. Do you have any dogs or just cats? I don't have any pets. So I said if I have a cat or when I have a cat, like just no, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, uh uh. But um, no, I don't have any pets. Oh, Jas, no, that's incredibly dehumanizing. Jas is not a pet. I know you. I know you meant well, but we're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> Jas is not a pet. Okay, uh, now kitten coming home near the end of Feb. Yas, yas, Shiba. Only dog around here is Shiba. Indeed, but even then, Shiba is not a pet. <laughs> Just making it clear. Just making it clear. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not angry or anything. I'm just like drawing a line in the sand. Like we don't do this, that's all. I'm not like there's no hard feelings <laughs> before anyone gets like uh, upset or whatever. It's not it's not a thing. It's just me setting the boundaries. Ah, fucking sinuses. They've been angry all day today, and I'm just like, why could you please stop it? That's how I get the recorded message. Half the shit I say does. I have this like sing song speech pattern sometimes that sounds exactly like a pre recorded message. I don't know why or how, it just does. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's something I've said frequently, it gets like practiced and so it's like muscle, it's almost like muscle memory actually speaking the words aloud. It's fine. Uh, someone's kink, not a kink for here. And, well, no, no kinks are for here. We don't kink shame, but we also don't want to be involved or know about your kinks. That's your own business. Please do not share. Like, I'm not interested. Telling me about your kinks is involving me in your kinks without my consent, and we do not do non-consent here. End of story. Is fear sick? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. <gasps> that reminds me I get to have bubble tea today, and I'm so excited. I am keen for a bubble tea. You have no idea. Holy fuck. 
Mm, public does not consent to your kinks. Don't kink in public. Correct. No tea, only water? Fuck you. Fuck you. What if I drink my whole bottle, Jas? What if I drink the whole bottle then? Can I have some fucking bubble tea? Come on now. Come on now. Zero idea what bubble tea is? It's delicious. It's all you need to know. I'm kidding. Um, nope, just more water. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let me have my bubble tea. It's like... Um, so bubble tea is tea. It starts with a tea base, either green or black or oolong or whatever type of tea you want to have, you can make bubble tea out of the, out of it. Um, you then add usually some flavoring and some sweetener. The the like bubble can either refer to the fact that you add the syrups and stuff to it, and that the syrups and the powders kill the fucking rifts you numpties. Um, add the syrups and the powders and stuff to it, and then they usually shake it in like a cocktail shaker. Um, which makes it a little bubbly on top, or it can refer to the toppings. You can add like jellies or um, like tapioca pearls or aloe vera jelly or coconut jelly or popping pearls. Like there's a whole bunch of little like jelly related items that you can add to the drink and then use like a really thick straw to, to get them up. It's it's really, really tasty. I'm an affiliate with a program, a program. I'm, I'm an affiliate with a company. Let me confer with my sources. No. I'm an affiliate with a company called Bubble Tea Club. They're Australian. They ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. Um, and they do kits for making your bubble tea at home. Like they send you the tea bags and the powdered creamer and the fruit syrups and the fructose and all that kind of, and the toppings and stuff. And then you make the tea at home yourself. Um, I usually recommend to people that they find a bubble tea place somewhere near them. Hey, ja. Oh, they require level 16. Never mind. Um, uh, and try one. Like, grab a bubble tea to try before they go buying a whole kit because the kits come in a minimum size of five. So, a minimum serving size of five. So, you make one kit would make it's a five pack, it makes five bubble teas. And so, if you try it and you don't like it and you've got another four of them kind of sitting there, it's like, well, fuck, what have I done? Um, but if you try one at a store and you like it, then you can get it from Bubble Tea Club and stock up so you can have it whenever you like. Uh, without having to leave the house because there are humans outside. Oh, look! I dinged! Level 51! Well, there you go. Um, but yeah, so that's what I usually recommend. But the Bubble Tea Club stuff is as good as, if not better, than most of the bubble teas that I've had from stores. Honestly. Like, I'm not just saying that because I make money from them. Like, I le legitimately, I wouldn't be using them if their product was shit. I'm not that kind of person. But yeah, it's really, really, ta really tasty. Ah, uh, sorry, I need to show you that during, during Twitch delays. Um, welcome to Fear Talks, indeed. Indeed. Um, 51, does that mean I need to update my spreadsheet? Oh no, because it only, it only goes to 50 anyway. That's fine. It's fine. I break. Oh, there's an outbreak. That's okay. That's okay. goes up to 60. Well, mine doesn't, obviously, but I do have a hidden tab that you guys can't see. And that one goes up to 60. Can you see this from this? Yep. Correct. I do that on the regular. <laughs> All of the panic.
time. Almost, we've got a pack to do. Marathon stream tomorrow. I hope I get a good night's sleep tonight because I have not slept well for the last couple of days. Like, really not well. So I'm kind of zonked. I really hope that I go okay tonight. But we'll see. We'll see. Super nervous I was gonna be out of time for the stream. My trip is next week. Gonna go get my dog's paw tattooed on my arm. That's super cute. I love that. Paw print. I figured that's what you meant, but <laughs> good for clarification. Madison stream, yes. That is what we've been talking about for a while, yeah. Ugh. 
Shang. Enjoy your final moments. Eleven six point eight. Hi. Enjoy your final moment. Age it is fantastic. Hey, it's picking something to play or level or something, Sam. That'll be what it is. Look, I, I have to kind of agree. Personally. Ah! I got a new transmog. Wonderful. Let me go turn these quests in. Oh, I didn't get all the arcane splinters. Oh, we mustn't have killed all the big dudes. God damn it. That's fine. Uh, no, no, I mean for the marathon stream. Oh! Um, yeah, because it was unlocked last month as a community challenge with the channel points. God damn it, Jas. You left and there's quests to turn in and there's a mob at the quest point. <laughs> Okay, which are fire for in game. I only got three two. Yeah, there are got other people got like even fewer than that, but that's okay. That's okay. Kill yeah, I'm trying, but like I'm also much a lower level than you are, and also our healer left, so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. to you. See you later. Hello. Safe travels. Okay. If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join tank healer DPS. You can put more than one role if desired and you can rejoin the queue after as well, but the character must be 50 plus to join. Off to the laundromat. Good luck with the time walking. Enjoy. Have fun. What's a laundromat? A place where you can wash your things. It's a, like a shop that has a whole bunch of washing machines and dryers for your clothes. Good luck with your time walking. Thank you very much. Enjoy your food. Um, wait, no, I'm going this way. You gonna stop, Jess? All right. Totally fine. I'm not at all personally offended. I'm kidding, of course. <clears throat> Sheba is personally offended by Jas. There you go. Ah, perfect timing. Amazing. So I've got 1690 on Repressly. 
but she needs to get up to 3,000. What brings you here? So we're not spending anything on her just yet. What's wrong with that? attacking Jas with Jas. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Just, just never seen it. I felt like a fatty eating it. Nah, don't, don't, don't beat up on yourself like that. That's, that's silly. I need to do that. Okay. Um, so it looks like the soft room swords. So we should be fine. It was modeled after like the green moderator badge in, in Twitch chat, but it's, that's hilarious. Uh, Faden, Gruben, Meaty, Zam, Koala, K, Miantos, Bjorn, and Dew. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shifts. Well done. Onwards we go. Bum, bum, bum. So I can't place my War Beast, I can't place my Buster. Um, I can absolutely keep leveling my units though, so let's do that. Let's also go turn in that quest I have, because I feel like I should. This one, is this for like a reroll that I have rather than an upgrade? I imagine it would be, be the tank reroll. Yeah, no, nah, don't want. Do not want. Hey, Eloza, how you doing? Welcome back. Okay. So, where's my Q? Where is my Q? So I have Mince and I have Jack. Uh, once you are on the character you would like to do the thing with, uh, you can whisper me. I am on Benedica, the priest, who is DPS strictly. <laughs> Good, super freaking hot. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I hope it cools down for you soon, Loz. It's been raining here, like, a lot. So I think everything's cooled down quite a bit, which I am not upset about in the slightest. Go. Okay. Four days of above 40. Holy shit. Good lord. Holy shit. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, not nice. No, I can imagine. I can imagine. Ah, uh, so just waiting for Jack to DM me. Uh, once Jack is on the tune he wants to run with. Logging in. Totally fine. Totally fine. While I wait, I should probably do some fucking redemptions, shouldn't I? Just check. Shouldn't mind the rain. Great for giving good. I love rain. I, I absolutely adore rain. I don't like being out in it unexpectedly, but I, I love rain. Um, it's just, it is very good for, for cooling everything down as well when it's been warm for a while. Um, so 
assuming that that's you. Yeah. All right. Time walking. Join as parte. This is so good. I feel like I'm actually making progress on shit, you know? Even, even though I may not be, I still feel like I am. I like to go, so I hate rain, fair enough. Fair enough. What time are we leaving? I need to, damn it. What's wrong? What time does the marathon stream start tomorrow? Scroll down, click my name, click schedule. It will convert it to your time zone. Grab the weekly. Isn't it in the thingamajig? In the adventure guide, usually. Yeah. Well, maybe not. That's interesting. Oh, I am 50 on this tune, so I might not be able to. I think the, the weeklies are only for max level tunes because it's raid stuff, right? Um, raid loot. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. The Argent <clears throat> Crusade and the Knights of the Ebon Blade have assaulted the gates of the Ice Crown Citadel and are preparing for a massive attack upon the Scourge. Our mission is a bit more subtle, but equally as important. With the attention of the Lich King turned towards the front gate, we'll be working our way through the side in search of information that will enable us to defeat him once and for all. Our scouts have reported that the Lich King has a private chamber outside of the Frozen Throne, deep within a place called the Halls of Reflection. That is our target, champions. <clears throat> we will cut a swath of destruction through this cursed place, and find a way to enter the Halls of Reflection. If there is anything of value to be found here, it will be found in the Halls. The Dark Lady watches over you. Make haste. Four and a half levels, so I can take kill for you. Ah, just in time for the stream to end, I reckon. Look, potentially. Potentially. But hey, next time, right? Who knows the next time walking? I got it in my calendar. I've only done a couple months worth of events in my calendar. Um. Maybe the next one's Cata Time Walking and it's during Lovers in the Air. Yeah, so Cata Time Walking starts roughly the same time as Lovers in the Air. However, a full set of, like, excuse me, a full set of 50 um, rocket runs won't take six hours, won't take a full stream. So um, I'll probably do some extra stuff after the rocket runs are done. So we might jump in and do some counter time walking then. If the stream ended, she wouldn't stare at too many I'm, I'm assuming you mean stare as in like with my eyes which is s-t-a-r-e um instead of like stairs as in going up the stairs uh too many load screens and stretch for us what sorry i have no idea what you're talking about warhex um i'm very confused but welcome to chat i hope you're having a lovely day i hope you are less confused than i am like <laughs> Do you have tanks heals? Line up to queue with those in the air. Waiting for 50 sets of DPS queues could be pretty grim. Um, there are a lot more people queue for lovers in the air than do for um, time walking and shit. 
like a lot more. Um, I don't have people lined up, no, uh, because like planning this kind of shit that far out, like I don't want to say you need to be here for three full hours waiting for this particular character to go because I don't know when like I can't give you time slots do you know what I mean like it's just it's too open it, it can't really be done like that so I, I'll be doing like this like absolutely if people want to come along with me they are more than welcome to do so but I will be moving quickly if you're not ready to go when I log in to queue then you're not coming um it will likely be a case of um like if you're like, I'll clear out my friends list, basically. If people add me to their friends list, then they will be able to jump in. Um, and you can do it via the, there's a, like, a quick join. So if your friends are in queue for something, you can quickly, quickly join them from there. So I think basically what I'm going to do is just um, log in, queue up, and then you guys will just have to keep an eye on quick join. Uh, and if you see me, when you see me pop up, just hit join and it'll be first come best dressed because I will need to keep it moving. Yeah, I think I think that's how I'll do it. And if it if that gets weird and doesn't work very well, then I'll figure it out beyond there. But um, yeah. Uh, so will normal stream days still have additional content or will extra days streamed count for it? Um, at the moment, I'm planning on having my full six hour days on my regular stream days plus extra on off days, just like starting up, doing my runs and then finishing. Nothing more, nothing less. But that being said, if I need to not stream a full six hour day, then I'm not gonna. I, I will listen to my body. I will feel like I will feel how I'm feeling and, and I'll make a decision based on that. Um, because the last thing I know you guys want is for me to burn out and then do lovers in the air and then not stream for three weeks. Like I, you don't no, none of us want that. Nobody wants that. So um, yeah, I will absolutely be listening to myself and, and like my body and figuring out what I need. But at, as it stands currently, the plan is to just, we will have extra days, but regular streams will run as planned, but we'll just, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, even if you only do three hours for heartbreak runs a day, it's still 21 hours of stream. Yep. 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 Uh, and it'll probably end up being less than three hours. Like if I don't, if I have shit cues, then obviously that's a thing. But um, it'll probably end up being closer to like two hours and fifteen to thirty minutes for an off day stream. Um, but we'll we'll just have to see how we go. Like I, I we won't know until we get in it. Hey. So extra days are more like I'm gonna do it anyway. So Finally, it's I'm more like. I need to do this, and I would hate myself forever if the fucking Heartbreaker dropped off stream. I'd hate myself forever. That clip will be my most viewed clip ever. It will trounce the fuck out of that fucking Freaky Friday stream from like five years ago. It will, it will be my most viewed clip of all time forever. I don't have to open the boxes right away. Yeah, but I'll forget. I'll click it out of habit. I'll, I'll click it from muscle memory and um, and it'll drop and I'll be fucked. Like, I know I will. <laughs> Plus it's far more exciting to see the runs happen. So more exciting, so much more exciting. You know that. That's not a- that's a shared appearance. Def not complain, love seeing fear streams! God, it's so much content. It's so fucking much content. But we'll see how we go. We'll see. We'll see.
<clears throat> Have I got marches in here as well? Or I stop at February. Oh no, I so and then panda time walking is first of March. So every three weeks, is it? Like, so we got Kata, off, off, Panda, off, off. Yeah. No, off Legion. Jesus, only one week between Panda and Legion. Good lord. Um, but yeah, so look, we're going to have so much time walking this year. If if I can't buy all the stuff I need with time walk badges, I will have done something very wrong, I think. But we'll see how we go. <clears throat> year of the event. We're going to do this shit. Did you know? Did you know there is still shit I haven't collected from Lovers in the Air that isn't the mount? And there's a ton of stuff from um, Lunar Festival as well. Oh, um, Lunar Festival. Because you won't have much notice, um, uh, Lunar Festival's trip around the world, all the elders, 2nd of Feb. First stream of February will be Lunar Festival stream. What the fuck? What's wrong, Shiva? <clears throat> you not collected from others in the Yeah! Transmog. Bouquet of ro roses or something. Like a cosmetic piece that I do not give any shits about. Didn't give any shits about. anything from that boss either. I must have a fucking prism in the bank. Work, champions. That's we shall okay. set up our base camp in these chambers. My magi will get the scourge <clears throat> transport device working shortly. Step inside when you are ready for your next mission. I will meet you on the other side. I mean same but now ATT has you by the throat. It does. It does. Whoa! Unlucky with this particular dungeon as well. Huh, I need like everything. I've got most stuff from that dungeon in terms of transmog. It's, um, I didn't get the frozen prism, the quest item. And I think it's because I've got it in my bank. I really should check this before I do a run. I don't have one in my bank. What the shit? Why didn't I get a- did they not update it for time walking loot? Two boss dungeon or a bug. Um, I would say it's a bug. I would say that they haven't updated it properly. And they haven't- like, they haven't updated the loot table properly. Um, what is- it's called the frigid prism, right? Frigid time warped prism. Um... No one got it, judge it, looking by that. And it's Forge of Souls. No, Mikulea has one, but that's it. That's the only person who does. Um, and it starts the unstable prism. Got a frozen orb. Yeah, it's crafting reagent. It's the crafting reagent for Wrath. already completed this by typing copy 
false. So I haven't done it, it's just not dropping. Hey crochet dude. On in. Um. Let's have a look. Forge of Souls. Search. Wrath of Lich King, 500 badges, time walking item didn't drop. Mm, didn't get item. Didn't get my drop from Forge. Got one from another character, Uncle Gundrak. Honestly think it's been converted to a less than 100%, albeit still high random drop. No, that's... Yeah, they didn't actually change anything in terms of the drops. I've done four dungeons on three different characters now. I had Forger Souls twice, both times the item didn't drop. In Halls of Lightning and Azrael Narub it did drop. This turns Forger Souls from probably one of the best dungeons to get if you want to be fast into the worst one because you won't even get the item. Only option is to leave when you get it and try again later because otherwise you'd just be wasting your time. Yeah. Right, so they're asking people are asking them to put it in the um, bug report forum. Let me see if I can find if there is one in the bug report forum. Because I want to add my voice to the chorus, as I keep telling you guys to. If something doesn't work, tell them. Um, so time walk quest not dropping again. Several, yeah, several didn't get it to drop. Known bug for Forger Souls. This specifically Forger Souls, yep. And it says again, so apparently last time it was up it had the issue as well. Um, I don't have the quest item in my bank. I get that during last month it was weird. Just ran my first time walking no quest with 500 badges. It's Forge of Souls. Happened to me about an hour ago. Forge of Souls. Reply. I've run a walking dungeon on five different tunes today. All four of the first ones got the drop. The fifth didn't. Fifth was the only one to have been dropped into Forge of Souls. Reply. And then we do this one as well. Because again, if I'm going to ask you guys to do something, you bet your ass I'm going to do it myself. If you experience a bug in game, report it. Add your voice to the chorus on the forums if you can find an existing thread. And submit a bug report. Because if you support it in if you report it in game, it takes a whole lot of your game data and sends it with it as well, which it doesn't with the forums. I have run five time walking dungeons today on five different characters. First four had the frigid time warped prism drop from the final boss. Actually, 
Actually, it's a lie. One of them had it in a bank, but it's fine. Uh, first of the fourth, which is the boss. The fifth didn't. Fifth was also the only character to have been dropped into for the forge of souls, as opposed to the, of the other available Wrath of the Lich King, Time Walking Dungeons. Submit. Done! Alright, means I have to do another fucking dungeon. So. <laughs> Um, Path, you've joined the queue, but I don't know what role you fill. Um, you haven't popped a role in after the word join. Uh, do you want to let me know whether you're a tank, DPS, or a healer? Um, hey, a nurse. Tattle on the game to its mum, correct. Good morning. Hey, Aden, doing well. How are you? I think the Mage Tower Extended event might have screwed something up. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think it's, I think it's probably this that they forgot to update the, um, loot table for Forge of Souls. They just probably forgot to add the frigid prism to the loot table for for Forge Souls. Like that's you know it's the whole what is it um the um the knot. I don't remember the dude's name, but there was a knot, and it's the simplest solution. Is it, the simplest solution is likely the the correct one. Um, you ah! are not prepared. Jordana, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Hello, Audi. Thank you for the cast of Command Sheba. Occam's Razor, that's the one. Thank you. It was a, you know, a dude with a sword. It's fine, you just kind of cut the knot in half. Simplest solution is often the correct one. Ah, uh, just getting over COVID. I've been feeling well, feeling much better now. Fantastic to hear. Wonderful to hear. Um, autocorrect, totally fine, Kaz. Hello, Jordana. Welcome on in. How are you going? How is your stream? I hope you had a wonderful time. Um, Path W, I'm still waiting on you to let me know what role you'd like to fill for time walking. If you'd no longer like to join us, that's totally fine. Just let me know uh, and I'll remove you from the queue. Ah, oh, they're not in chat anymore, so I'm going to just remove them. That's fine. Remove. Yes. Cool. Um, would anyone else like to join us for, for this run? Um, we're doing Wrath Time Walking. Exclamation join, followed by your role, tank healer or DPS, or multi multiple of them if you would like to. Um, and you can rejoin the queue after after it's been, um, after you've done a dungeon, because, you know, the more the merrier. Um, but we just did Fortress Souls, and the prism didn't drop from the final boss, because fuck us. Um. <laughs> hey, Terrell, hello, Sting. Good, I'm tired. It's almost 3 a.m. Oh no! I hope you get some lovely rest. Let's take Jack instead of me. Well, I am gonna take Jack because that means like a tank or a healer rather than three DPS. Um so Jack, and then the next one in the queue is Meaty. Uh so Mince will you're still in the queue, but it'll be for like next round. Oh, isn't this you anyway? You're still in it's fine. It's fine. You're still in the group anyway. Whatevs. So, um, Jack and Meaty, if you want to whisper me, um, I'm on Benedicta still. Because fuck the prism. Um, and we'll get going. Just fun to pop by and see the parts of the game. Exact opposite of the way I play. Of course. Of course. It is good fun. I'm, I'm enjoying time walking. Except for when things don't drop that I need. But that's fine, you know. It's fine. There we go. Thought Jack was DPS. Oh no, Jack is yes. Jack can tank DPS or heal. Jack is um would would we say a jack of all trades? <laughs> How many times have you heard that, Jack? Are you sick of that yet? So many ways to play WoW. And none of them are wrong except giving other people shit. How cool's that? It's really, really easy to play the game correctly. Just don't be a fuckwit. Hey, like how cool's that? <laughs> Because a jack of all trades, exactly, yes. Jack is indeed a jack of all trades. Oh, that's great. Uh, not enjoying that they changed the time walking level requirement to 50. Uh, it look, I, it would have been really, really tricky to figure out like with the squish and everything. Uh, it was just the easiest way for them to do it without causing a fuck ton of bugs here, there and everywhere, I think. So they just went with it. And I'm, I'm not, I can't fault them for that. I, am honored. I can't fault them for that. Um. I did it first. Did you? Did you now? Did I get the wrong one? Oh, no, you didn't. I just missed the whisper because I must have been in a low fucking load screen or something. I'm so sorry. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Time walking, let's do it. My bad. That's my bad, Jack. Uh, pretty much exactly! Every time I hear that whisper sound, I jump to check who's whispering me measure my disappointment that it's not me! I'm so sorry, Grossly. I'm sorry. Well, we'll get a prism from this one, so that's fine. Oh, rescues. How are you? See you around. I mean, I guess chance at more transmog. Except I, it happened on a goddamn coffee. So most of these dungeons are already like one hundred percent. Hey there, have a good one. Oh, legendary. What? Oh, Dragon Wrath. Right, I don't have that yet. I do, however, have Thunder Fury. Blessed Blade of the Wind Seeker. I'm not sure if you guys saw that on Twitter, but I got myself a, a Thunder Fury. Ah, uh, worst thing is, I didn't even have the game open. Ah, just now it's not even possible to be me. Yeah, but like you have that reflexive like muscle memory to like, uh, when you hear the right sound. I totally get it. It's 100% it's fine. I get it. You're gonna be a lot of good one. You too, Badger. I hope you're having a lovely day. Keep doing that at the moment too. Every time there's a login sound, I automatically go to type hi to whoever it is, then realize the noise comes from stream. And I'm looking at my work laptop. Oh no. Did someone say? They did indeed. It was me. The Thunder Fury, the best blade of the wind. See, you did, Zam. You did. Twas I. Twas I. <clears throat> Your posture check, look, you're not wrong. Yeah, not wrong. What <sighs> a hydrate left. Um, a stretch. Um, congratulations to Bay, Dunno, Meaty, Great, Bod, Cheerful, Fairy, and Zam on all of your bonus shit. It's a skin chest. I have all these skins, but I hope that you guys get, like, a skin. Or multiple. You can get multiple skins from these chests as well. BT dubs. In what? case you didn't know. Don't just stand around, lad. Kill somebody. Day is just about to begin. It's been a while since I woke up at 10 before 10 after sleeping. About the time where I go to bed. Oh, there you go. There you go. happened oh whirlwind just one hit from whirlwind and i fell over good lord killing blow at 64 percent health fuck me i'm probably the only oh no there's another 50 in here but, like, we're all squished down, so it shouldn't matter. Is that all you
quick no res. Okay, sure, bye then. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I was the only one who died and I went from like 64% health to nothing in one hit. That you can't, like there's nothing you can do to anticipate that. Like, <laughs> that's it. That's there's no hope there. Um, but that's okay. Like, I'm I'm not upset by that at all. I'm just like, no res. Okay, that's fine. I'm guessing it's because the tank just kind of ran off and like, whatever. That's okay. That's a shared appearance. That's not a new thing. Um. Hydrates. Because there's so many in my queue, holy shit. I'm gonna run out of bottle again. Like that. <clears throat> I'm silenced. I'm now honored with the Tonka. The rep you get in these dungeons is hilarious. You know what they say about <clears throat> We're not even three hours in. Should I go for bottle number two, you guys? Should we try to empty the bottle again? Like empty my drink bottle again? Do it. All right. After this dungeon, I'll go refill the bottle. Your chest dreams use them. True. True now that. Finish the job. <clears throat> I'll give you more than Whoa, can she do, like, good lord. Now to finish the job. Damn the Bottle number two, obviously we need to redeem more hydrates. Well, that's just, em I've just emptied my first bottle. So after this dungeon, I'll go refill. No, I did love it when that happens. <laughs> I think one of the things about this bottle in particular is that it keeps the water ice cold. So I can't like, 
take as big gulps as I would with other. But then again, like with the with the bottle with the straw, like do you know, it's just there's there's these differences. I can't drink as much as easily because I gotta suck it all through the straw and stuff, whereas this is open mouth, so it's like look, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. God, my ping's at 300. Even my home latency's at 60. Good lord. Do not like. <clears throat> How do you earn bones and keys in stream raiders? Bones are from PvP, from verses, and keys are from dungeons. They're only open for certain, for like short periods at certain times of the month or year or whatever. Like they're, they're like special events that only happen every so often. Ooh, people have been really, like, heavy on their horns today. Mm, as this was yesterday, surprised you missed out, too. Well, if they didn't know it was on yesterday, then... That might be... Hmm... There's, like, an event calendar where they plug in, like, what's happening when and stuff. I just don't think they do it too far in advance. Because obviously, you know, small studio game dev, they've got to make sure that they're, uh... When does those happens event events happen usually? There's no set time. There's no... It's not a calendar like in WoW where you know everything for the rest of the year. Uh, it's very, very sporadic. Very sporadic. You need to um, be in the Discord um, is the best idea. Uh, if you're in the Stream Raiders Discord, they post um, stuff in there. Yeah, versus is usually three times a month, but like the when of that, like which day and what dates and stuff, is totally like at their discretion. They they mix things up every month. <clears throat> yeah, I say I guess that to get me some breakfast. Oh dear. First time in the stream. Hello, Zeleon. How does one join the time walking fun? You can type exclamation join followed by what roles you can fill. So tank, healer, DPS. Uh, you can put more than one if you want. You can put all three. Uh, and then, yeah, we just kind of go through the queue. Every time a dungeon is finished, uh, I pull whoever's next in the queue to form up the next one. Like, roles allowing, of course. Like, I can't take five DPS if they're the first five in the queue. <laughs> but I'm sure you understand that much. Ah, you're welcome to you. Thank you, Shiva. If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join. Tank healer DPS. You can put more than one role if desired. You can rejoin the queue after as well. The character must be 50 plus to join. Nice and easy. <clears throat> and after this run, I'm going to go refill my water bottle and then we'll jump on into the next one.
I think this tune's gonna ding again. I think this tune's gonna ding, rather. I'm very, very close to next level. Which is, what, 52, 52 for this one. Not bad. I wonder how many of my tunes are gonna get levels just from doing, like, all of those Heartbreaker runs in February. It's certainly gonna be interesting. There you go, 52. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for the cheer, Jared. How are you going? Thank you. I, th I quite like it. Uh, Majesty, uh, a long-time viewer who um, is very busy these days, doesn't get a chance to swing by very often, but um, she made it for me with her... Uh, she's got like an iron-on dealy thing. Yeah. Made it for me. Very sweet of her. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. How are you? Be having a lovely day. Oh, Yuri was not. Oh, lovely. I'm back. Welcome back. These are the last two cookies. Do you want? Oh my god, so good. Mm. Scotch is fucking good. Yuri says hi. Good gum. I'm cooking. much for the cheer. I'm just sitting here. If you don't mind me throwing them away, I don't mind at all. Do not mind at all. Thank you very much. Throwing them away, you make it seem like they're wasted. Well, I'd like I don't think they're wasted here. Genuinely. But like, you know, to each their own. Who's <laughs> only joking? I know, I know. That's what the capital was for. Mmm, 
Shadow Priest. All four of my priests are Shadow. <laughs> the sparkles can make me keep thinking there's fucking loot. <clears throat> Where'd you get the shirt? Oh, um, like I said, uh, one of the, one of my regular viewers who's really busy these days, she doesn't get a very much of a chance to swing by, unfortunately, but she's absolutely lovely. Uh, Majesty. She does prints and stuff. She's got an Etsy store. Um, obviously she can't sell this one because of the, the logo. It's, um, uh, like IP stuff. But, um, when she first got the... When she first got the machine, I think it's a, I think it's a crack out. I don't remember, but she has like iron on it and heat print and stuff like that. Um, and she made me this with the with the Fiamma with the horde logo. And um, she also printed on a cup, like it's almost like a wine glass tumbler, like a stemless tumbler type thing. Um, and it's got Fiamma on it with the horde logo on the other side in black. Um, and and sent them to me, which was really lovely of her. Um, this is yeah, I can't do merch with the horde logo on it. Um, because of IP stuff. Like, is protected, but, um, yeah. I am, I do have to sit down in the next little while and do some new merch stuff, though. There's no truth in it. No, no, no. Only in the taking. Super nice. And it really was. She's lovely. Really lovely. Speaking of people we haven't seen recently, anyone heard from Gothi lately? Nope. Enjoy your final moments. Stay. Enjoy your final moments. I always forget that I have to move on this boss, and then when I remember, she does the root, and it's like, ah, shit. I just, do, I just do little baby steps every so often. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, there's no horde command, uh, as you've now learned, Chaos. Oh, excuse me. Mm, hope they're doing okay. Finish it. Yeah. Kill me, or I swear by the dragons, we will never see daylight again. Does feel so. <laughs> yes. For the alliance, life binder. Preserve. There we go. Frigid time warped prism. Thank God for that. All right. Thank R and Jesus. I'm gonna go turn some of these in. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle. You need something? And then See we'll uh, we'll do the next one. How are you? Safe travels. Hello. Have a good one. Uh, do you only need to do one dungeon to get the 500 badges? Technically, yes. However, the quest item to get the 500 badges isn't dropping from the Forge of Souls currently. So, um, if you do Forge of Souls, you will have to do a second one to get the quest item to be able to get the, yeah, 500. Good luck, friend. Uh, so 1,705 on this baby. <clears throat> God, there wasn't a horde one. I guess I have to sleep as I'm not with it today. Totally fine, Chaos. Enjoy your rest. Enjoy your rest. Oh. Ugh. Speaking of Majesty, uh, one more in me tonight. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, 
Can't can't go to bed just yet. Eight eighteen p.m. Another hour then bed. Who says? You go to bed whenever you bloody well like. <laughs> Especially if you're not feeling well. It's the way that it works. Anyway, I'm going to be back shortly. I'm going to go refill my water bottle. Um, I think we're fine for, yeah, we're fine. All right, I'm going to start an ad now just so that it's out of the way. BRB! Run away, little girl! Run away!
uh, has no bottle. Is the fools. I nearly spilled it. It was fine. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, can you come over to the first one speak down? Watch stream. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, dupe. I'm sorry. I can't help but be so entertaining. Uh, <laughs> what? Are you Yeah, basically. Are you not entertained? Ah, uh, people still feel a bit peckish. Jas is currently in the kitchen making dinners. They're having chickens. Chair, indeed. Stick process, full steam ahead, arting is slowly coming back to me. Yay! So Bruce is coming back to me and getting there. Oh, that's awesome. So good to hear. So exciting. Right. Um, the thing with the stuff. Okay, so we have uh, tank and 2 DPS. I think we can run that. I think we can do that. So let's grab everyone from the queue, all three of you. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and I'll get, so Sheba will let you know in chat, she'll, uh, sorry, um, what did I say? Should give you a, um, a copy paste. That is what Sheba has been doing. There we go, perfect. Except I think, I, I must have spelled it wrong in the spreadsheet. It's one L in Melissa, I did. Oh my god, I keep doing this. Give me a minute. I'm... how do I keep getting this name wrong? In every spreadsheet I have, I have spelt this character's name wrong. Every single one. I don't understand what I've done, but there you go, I've fixed it now. Like, my brain is broken. So, shoot me a whisper. I'm so sorry, Shiba. That's entirely my fault. Entirely my fault. Why are we talking like this? I don't know. It's mince! Oh, and it's meaty! Mince and meaty. My character, not the spreadsheet, but that costs money! Want me a heal full group? Ah, oh, Jack, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. But we are waiting on Zillion. So I'm not sure if we have the tank yet. Though so they might just be switching tunes or something. But yeah, that's 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 the tune name. They're on the screen, nice and bigly. Um. And I'm on Saofang, so it'd be Melissa hyphen Saofang. Whisper me, and I give you invite. Silly. Hey, there we go. Brilliant. Amazing full group. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't be fucking forge assaults. God. Oh, and the battle's ready. Shit. Is that schedule feature new? No. It's been there for like over a year or so now, I think. It's been there for a really long time. Do my spreadsheet today reflect 35 and 30 rather than having two separate ones at 86 now? You have three to get to 50 of the main lot. So it'll be fine. Yay! Amazing. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and just knocking over as many tunes as I can. Um, I've got, what is it, 18 tunes to go, but all of them are either 48 or 49, um, at varying progress through those levels. But I think I've only got, like, four, four at level 48, um, which means, what, 14? 14 at 49. 
and I'm just so keen for tomorrow. I'm I'm really hoping that I can knock over a bunch of them. I don't know if I'll finish it. I don't know if I'll finish it, but we'll see. We'll see. Ah, uh, 148. Make sure you get to 50 tonight. It's another 48. Not 46. Ah, so good. So good. I'm so impressed. So exciting. So exciting. I was hoping to get all of my tunes to 49 for tomorrow so I could just like knock them out one after the other. But um, no such luck. I just didn't have the time, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We're still fucking close. Still really fucking close. I do not run dungeons when I'm leveling. Um, I level via quests. But thank you anyway. Um, but yeah, I do, I definitely do have, um, streams where we play with viewers. It's just that leveling is not one of them. <laughs> um, yeah. Next one. Leveling while questing with others is pain. It is, yeah. Which is why I stopped doing it now. <laughs> um, like, the only time I group with somebody while I'm leveling is, uh, like, start of the expansion. Um, and even then, I'll group up, group up with Jas. And it'll be Jas and I. He will tank shit for me so that I can read quests all the way through without dying and accidentally aggroing shit. And I can talk to people in chat while he pulls shit and I just mash buttons and just all that. So like there is a reason behind it, but um, that's kind of the only time I'll do it. It's just, otherwise you end up in this inevitable area where either other people have zero while you've got all 12 items and then another part where you have zero and they have 12. So at, like you'll always be holding someone back or someone else will be holding you back. And it's just, oh fuck, it's such a pain in the ass, especially when you're trying to run with Zygor as well. And you've got to wait for 12 minutes while everyone else tries to figure out what they're supposed to be turning in and, and accepting and all this kind of, it's just, no. No. I'm so, like, I'm so impatient. I'm so impatient. And when I'm leveling, it's my zen time. So having to teach other people what they're supposed to be doing while in, in my zen time is absolutely no. No. Not happening. No. <laughs> so yeah, nah, it's, um, yeah. Not, not super fun times, but that's, it's fine. You know, everyone plays differently and that's okay. Um, and yeah, so I, I level solo. No worries, next time. Indeed, indeed. We level parallel with you. Exactly. Everyone's playing together, just not in a group. Kind of like on, on Sundays. Like we all, like a lot of us farm transmog on a Sunday. Just not in a group. Because if you do it in a group, then there's a chance you might have to share your transmog with other people and fuck that. And then Mount Farm Monday. Like, I'll rock up at Shah, and there'll be like seven or eight other people on the same mount I am, all in the same place. And they're very obviously, it's a pack of us. We're just not in a group. <laughs> We're together, but not together. Sharing is not caring. Sometimes, no. Correct. I'm not patient, I'm stubborn. Correct. Sharing is not caring. Sharing in this economy. Exactly! The fucking, like, no. No. Hey Amari! How's your games going? Really well. Really well. We found a bug and I, I posted on the forums and sent in a bug report. Um, but no, apart from that, it's been going really wonderfully. I'm I'm earning my um, earning my uh, time warped badges across a whole bunch of tunes. 500 a pop. We bought a couple of, of transmog bits before on one character, which was really nice. I'm saving up for a bunch of rewards, so. Yeah, we're doing well, doing well. It's the year of the event for me, 2022. I want to see if I can clean up all of the like world events, buy all the rewards and get all the drops and all that kind of stuff. Just to like cross something off the list. Doesn't have to be done again. Is ready? I know, babe. I know. 
It's ready when we started the dungeon. Oh, was that actually an upgrade? Oh, oh not an upgrade. It's a, that's a new piece of transmog. That's a new piece of transmog. Look at that. Yeah, um, uh, Stream Raiders here is very much secondary. Um, it's not, like, yeah. Very much secondary. Um, that being said, this bit's annoying, so we'll, ugh. This will take ages to get through. Are we jumping in? We are jumping in. Cool. Yeah, we don't always start things as soon as they're ready for multi multitudes of reasons. Um, yeah. I played Dead by Daylight, very stressful game, but it's fun. Yeah, I'm not sure I could do Dead by Daylight. I, I'm very, very bad with horror. Very bad with horror. Um, so I just, no. No thank you. I'm good. But I'm glad others have fun with it. That's what's important. As long as you are having fun, who gives a flying fuck what other people think, you know? If you want to join in on tonight's time walking shenanigans, please type exclamation join, tank healer DPS, so you can put more than one roll if desired. Uh, you can rejoin the queue after as well, and the character must be level 50 plus to be able to join. That's a blizzard restriction, not us. I'm just curious to play horror games, so I avoid it. Would you be willing to play a non-horror zombie game? Does that even exist? Hey, Klaus, how you going? Are there zombie games that are not horror? Like... We fought back the surge. What chance you thinking you got? <clears throat> nah. Get ready for something. Romance, a zombie, zombie dating sim? I would play the hell out of a zombie dating sim. Yes. Get ready for something much. I mean PWZ. What is PWZ? My brain is thinking power word zombie because I was playing a priest before. So I don't feel like I feel like that's a that's an interesting sort of spell. Anyone know how to fix nut? Nah, sorry. My my general fixing of things is turn it off and on again. And if your speed test is that bad regularly, then call your I ISP. Versus zombies, but versus starts with V, not W. That's P W Z, is what Meaty said. Oh, it was a typo. It was a typo. Okay, cool. Yeah, but that's like. Okay, I'll give you that one, but that's like. That's not a zombie game. That's not a zombie game, that's a tower defense game. Like, honestly. That's your sissy, well there you go. Maybe your program has been throttled. Maybe you have a maximum download speed set somewhere. Check your settings. Does Graveyard Keeper have zombies? Yes, but I would argue that it's not the focal point of the game. Like, it's not, it's a, um, like it's a crafting and farming and and story-ish kind of game. N like the zombies are, and the zombies aren't even there from the beginning. It's just corpses. You just happen to be able to raise them later. Brains. Zombie not in the title. Yeah, but it's not a game like about zombies. You know, it's it's just they've got zombie skins on the mobs that come into the tower defense thing. You know, like, come on now. Come on now. Hello, Hilly. Welcome on in. Your channel's in Battle Night. I know, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? I am, I'm so grateful to Blizzard ANZ for like believing in me and my content. It's been, it's been a wild ride. A wild ride. It's been nearly a year that I've been on the launcher. How bonkers is that? 
Who knows, Meatloaf died? Ah, oh, fuck. Really? Now, why would you tell me that now where I have to react in front of fucking all these people? Like, that's... Don't, don't tell streamers about celebrity deaths live on stream, please. It, it really, it fucking sucks. It's okay, and just like a lot of people don't, but there's a lot of things people don't consider about streaming, unfortunately. It's a thing, it comes up occasionally on, on Twitter and stuff like that about not telling people while they're live, that kind of shit. But, um, like, you know, it, it's have a think about, um, you know, someone who's like reading the news and shit. If something really big happens during, like, a there are some points where they have to immediately change tack and start talking about it, but if it's if it's news that has to like be confirmed and, and all that kind of stuff, they're not going to tell them on camera. They'll wait till they come off camera so that they can have their personal reaction and then put their professional face back on to be able to deliver that news to thousands of people. Obviously, I'm not streaming to thousands, um, but yeah, it's still just kind of... Especially, like, there, there could be, it, it could be a person who has passed away who the streamer has a really strong, I mean, obviously they're celebrities and we don't know them and stuff, but we can have big connections to, like, Meatloaf's music is what my mum always yells when she's, you know, like, and then we have to try to pick up and get on with the stream and be entertaining while having to wrestle with this information we've just learned on camera, so... It's not, it's not nice. Um, and now you've learned. Now you know why. Um, okay. Unstable prism get. Um, do I have to? No, it's over in the corner. Okay. Brilliant. Um... Because you now work for Microsoft, you can put that on your resume at least. Okay, firstly, I don't work for Blizzard. I need to make this exceptionally very, 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 very clear. I do not work for Blizzard. I never have. I have done sponsored streams. That is not employment with Blizzard. That is not working for Blizzard. That is working as a contractor, providing them a product, and then providing me payment. It is not working for Blizzard. Secondly, they haven't bought fucking Activision Blizzard. They have made the intention to purchase clear. There are still regulatory bullshit that they have to go through. There is any point this wholesale could be just knocked the fuck down by legal people saying, nope, you can't do that. Here is why. So like, it's not actually done yet. They have spoken of their intent to do this, but there's a whole fuckload of hoops that need to be jumped through. What's so just, what? You know, they were talking about financial year 2023 being potentially when this may go through. There's when when Bobby had his letter go out, there was this whole big fucking paragraph this goddamn long on my screen, disclaimering that none of it could go through. Talking about the language and all that kind of stuff. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> uh, right, leaving instance group. <clears throat> Started playing WoW yesterday, not sure what's going on, but completing quests, brilliant! I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Cheerful, Fade, Fairy, Corral, Z, Neke, Meaty, Spam, and Great. Congratulations on your bonus. Shit, what the fuck do you want? Stop sneaking up on me. That's why I was here. Yeah, sneakily. How the hell am I supposed to make more Talk to me as you're coming through the hallway. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> We've had that conversation before, what's up? You okay with some rice with dinner? Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um... Screen. Yep, I know. I know I did. Uh, Nada with Pictoria went for tank shield option. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
you learn from mistakes too. And that's that's all I ask you is people learning from mistakes. I there are no hard feelings or anything like that whatsoever. You know that. If if I was upset with you, if I was pissed, you'd be timed out or banned. <laughs> like <laughs> that's how it works here. We have open discussions and conversations when stuff goes wrong. We talk about it. We communicate, which is so important, and we and we move on. So I I appreciate you taking my, my perspective on board genuinely. Um, and yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. But also, yeah, that fucking sucks. That fucking sucks. Um, I'm definitely getting to that age where so many of the people, so many of like the big names who were really big parts of my, my like childhood and then like formative years and all this kind of stuff they are now at because because they were like here and i was here and now i'm here and so they're here and they're all having health issues and passing away and shit sorry there's something on my camera and it's been bugging me for three hours i need to get there we go uh, <laughs> it just yeah it really sucks when you get to that point because like what brings you here um oh are we dropping group to let others in that depends on how many people are in the queue i will be changing tunes though so that's a thing. Um, give me just a second. We'll turn this in. I've got 1,460 on this baby. Uh, so we're going to switch. So I'm going to switch tunes and we'll like... So if you wanted to come again, then pop the exclamation join and your role in chat again. Uh, and I'll I'll go through and invite the people for the next round as well. Uh, cool. So I'm going to jump onto the next tune. Um... Everyone works for either Amazon or Microsoft. <laughs> see, see, working for Amazon is like, I, I mean, I still don't work for Amazon, but it's slightly more, like I get paid a hell of a lot more frequently by Twitch, who is owned by Amazon, than I do by Blizzard. A hell of a lot more frequently, but it's still on a contractor basis. I'm still not actually employed. I'm technically, as a streamer, I'm self-employed. No matter who I deal with and all that kind of stuff, I'm always self-employed unless someone decides to give me a salary, which would be really nice. I would love to do this like proper, like full-time as a job job, like as an employee, but the chances of that happening um, in general is slim to nil. In Australia, it's even less than. It's, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I started work recently as well. Ah, oh, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying it as well. 2023 is the next expansion in 2024. Well, I mean, so technically we're due for one end of this year, right? I still, I, we're not going to get one end of this year because of everything. Like, I mean, just taking into account COVID, COVID pushed Shadowlands back and COVID only affected a certain amount of Shadowlands development. Um, like a quite a, like a relatively small amount of Shadowlands development was affected by COVID in terms of like the whole expansion being developed. It was still a big hit, obviously, but this, the next expansion's entirety will be infected by, uh, infected by COVID, affected by COVID. Add to that the lawsuit. Now add to that this whole like potential purchase and all this kind of stuff. I don't think this will affect day-to-day -day opera like I don't think the announcement will affect day-to-day -day operations too much like I have worked for a company while they were being taken over by a bigger company um and our day-to-day -day, nothing changed in our day-to-day -day. um nothing changed until about like nine to twelve months after like it had finally like everything had checked the boxes kind of thing um like once every like once the money had changed hands once the abns the australian business number um had been updated once all of that kind of stuff was changed like once it was official like with the australian securities and investments commission like the asic and all that kind of stuff once it was official still nothing changed um a few like five four or five months in we started noticing a few different people kind of walking around with clipboards taking notes and shit um and then maybe like nine to twelve months after everything had kind of been done we started seeing some changes, but they weren't outside of regular policy changes and stuff anyway. Like policies are re reviewed and updated every so often. And it just kind of felt like that. Um, and then I left the company a bit later because I was in, uh, in uni. And um, after that, several years after that, um, big shit, big things started changing, but they like aged the company entirely. I don't think that company that I worked for actually exists anymore. Um, the whole thing got completely 
shuffled around and changed and, and actually absorbed rather than just being a subsidiary. And I, I don't know how, I don't know how game ind the gaming industry works with that kind of stuff. It do, like sometimes they seem to actually absorb studios when they buy them, and then other times they want to let them do their own thing. And then other other times they're like, you're gonna have your own name and do your own thing, but you're gonna work on our project. Um, so it's kind of like everything's. I don't. I have no. No one has any idea how this is gonna work. Even like fucking what's his name, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming probably doesn't know exactly what this is gonna look like because he might have in his head like, yep, yeah, this is what I want to happen. You reckon any of that's actually gonna happen? Probs not. Like, <laughs> you know, plans change. That's why they're plans and not duns. Like it's just it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, look, it'll be, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, uh, our next expansion for WoW might be like April, May next year. I don't think they'll drop it in February. Um, I don't think they'll drop it this year. I think it'll be early next year. Um, I don't think it'll be February. Um, I don't think it'll be January because it'll be too soon after, like they won't be able to have like a proper crunch in the lead up. I feel like they'll have their holiday for Christmas and New Year's and all that kind of stuff. Come back in, ease into it through January and then crunch through February, March and then have a really, well, I don't think, does Blizzard do crunch? I don't even remember, but like have that last kind of push for, for those couple of months and then release it like April, somewhere like March, April, May, depending on which quarter they want it to land in. Um, March if they want it in Q1, uh, obviously, uh, but then like April, May if they're if they're happy with a Q2 or want a Q2 launch. Um, but yeah, that's, and I have no inside information. I have zero inside information. Um, I, I am associated with Blizzard through being on launch and stuff like that, but I don't know shit. I don't get anything like that. I'm, <laughs> that kind of shit's need to know and I do not need to know. And if I did know that, I, I absolutely would not be talking about it because NDAs are a thing. So like, <laughs> no, it's, um, yeah. That's kind of where I'm thinking it might kind of land, but we'll see. Only, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Do you want Microsoft to purchase Blizzard? What has that got to do with anything? There is no desire for, it doesn't matter, Yale. Like, I, I could not give two shits. I don't care. <laughs> they've, they've made a business decision that is entirely theirs. I don't think that our wants have any kind of consideration. Not at all. Uh, so clip with the hitting sheets, right? Ah, oh, dear. Hi, it's Sean. Love this song, Jenny Mingle. my okay, Spock gutted me. Yeah. Yeah, there's always, like, you'll have those kind of connections that just, oof, yep. Yeah. Disney. Refund my subscription a while back. You have to rebuy it at some stage. Uh, didn't COVID mean we missed out on a 0.5 patch though? Did we? I thought we had a 905 and then we had a 91 and then we had a 915. What did, did, did we, did we have an 05? I feel like we did. But I might've just been too occupied to notice that we didn't. No, there is an 05, there is a 905 because there are comments on Wowhead that are flagged as being made during 9.0.5. Yeah, 9.0.5 update notes. Yeah, they absolutely have it had a 905. We didn't miss anything at all. What are you talking about? Uh cool thing Microsoft will do is rip out the toxic, they won't touch the base really. I don't think as what you suggested. Yeah. And even then, they're already Blizzard are already ripping out the toxic. they they they're doing that at the moment. It takes time for that kind of shit to happen. You can't just be like, oh, someone said something, so we're gonna fire you. They, you legally cannot do that in a lot of places. I don't know specifically about, um, I don't even know where, where they're based. It's not Cal, is it California? I'm trying to think what my contracts have said, because they always say like in the state of blah, blah, blah. It might be, anyway. I don't know what the law is specifically there, but I know in a lot of places you can't just fire somebody based on a single claim you have to investigate as painful as that can be for the people making the claim you have to investigate you have to do your due diligence to make sure that you're not going to get sued for wrongful dismissal like <laughs> it is in their best interest to take their time figuring this shit out putting them on leave getting them out of the office and digging deep into this 
and then making the decision later to let them go when they've covered all of their bases, crossed their T's, dotted their I's to make sure that they cannot blow back on them. They're a company. They have to be sure of that shit. Um, but no, there they've have been, and, the, and there has been, um, people have been leaving. They're not going to, like, make an announcement, we have fired such and such, because often making that announcement is also not legal. Like... It, you have to leave it to the person to make those kind of announcements and stuff like that, and which they're not going to do if they're being fired, let me tell you. Like, it's a whole, you know, there's there's a whole thing in that that you've got to kind of be careful with. Um, hello, Earl. Welcome on in. Can't see it any later than Feb. Really? Okay, interesting, interesting. Plans change. That's why plans are plans. Why their plans are not done. So yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to know. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, it's a non-issue. Time to go. No worries, Mins. Have a lovely night. I think nine three would have come out. Potentially. Potentially. Uh, got to buy a subscription at some stage. This is in Irvine, California. Perfect. I I knew like I'm. Look, I'm bad at geography. Okay. Hey, Akram. Welcome back. All right, who have we got in the queue? We have Zellian, in the queue. Uh, I'm currently on Lillian. I'm not entirely confident that we'll get a 9-3. I think that's what Camping was saying, is that, like, if it weren't for all the delays and the lawsuit and the, the COVID and all that kind of shit, then we would have gotten a 9-3. Um, I'm not entirely... I think... I think we will get a 9-3, personally, because there's the the expansion... Like, the, think of it this way. When, when We don't know when 9-2 is coming out. Not, not quite. We have our uh, estimations and stuff like that, but we don't have a date. Um, so when 9-2 comes out in the next, what... People are assuming kind of the next month or two, roughly, right? Um, if they then had an expansion in February, March, April, like in that first yeah. bit. I like that. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the bubble tea. That's a whole year for a patch. And do you remember how much people bitched last time that happened? Yes. So what I think, what my personal, what I would try to do, try, plans, not always plan, not, not always going to plan, um, but what I would try to do is maybe not have a full-on Nazoth level 9-3, uh, right? Because 8-3 was huge. We had a new raid, two new, like not two new zones, but two revamped zones, all this kind of shit going on. There was, there was a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I reckon we could get a 9... Haven't they said that this next 9-2's raid is going to be the final raid of the expansion? They, I have been told that, but I've never actually read it in blue myself, so that could be a misquote. My apologies if it is. We could get a 9-3 that has content, but not to that level. We might have a new season of Mythic Plus, but no new raid. Does that make sense? We might get... Or a dragon raid with one boss! And a shitload of trash. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it could be that it doesn't have to be this massive 13 boss raid bullshit. We could have a, a new, we could get a mega dungeon instead of a raid. Oh, we could sun. get a, a, a dragon raid. We could get, or a dragon style raid. That kind of, like, there's there's a whole lot of stuff that they could do. Enyo, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Uh, I think we're getting a 925. Yeah, we, I, I think a 925 is going to be more appropriate. I think that they will, because the, the, historically speaking, XX5 patches have been like adjustments and tweaks, like big ones, but no actual content, no new content. I think if they're going to push out, if they're going to have a year between 92 and a new expansion, there's going to be some kind of a small blob of content in the middle there somewhere so they might do something little for 925 maybe maybe but that's that's my kind of uh i'm i'm not great with remembering the entire history of wow and what's gone on and, and the different times between patches and the development cycle i'm oh, not like summer. that i can't retain that kind of information um oh hilly thank you so much for the sub welcome to the fear nutty and we are four minutes away from a hype train, if we have one more event, um, we, we get a hype train. Um, in Tennessee, we're called a right to work state, meaning you can get fired for any reason as a matter of fact, they don't even have to give you a reason why they're going to fire you. On the other hand, you could quit for any reason. It's called right to work. It's a law they passed. Yes, I'm aware. Blizzard is not in Tennessee. 
And I'm also aware that the uh, the United States um, is fucked when it comes to their laws. Like every little pocket of land has a different set of laws. Um, so what is in Tennessee is not in California. Um, so there's that whole kind of yes. Uh, Dan with the cheer, thank you so much. You have triggered a hype train. Oh my God, you guys, thank you. So generous, much appreciated. Uh, there is no 93, Blizz already confirmed that. I think we're getting a 925. Yes, bubble tea, dragons, yep. Oh, I would summer. love a dragon raid. Yeah, something like that, right? Ah, Yari with the gifted sub to married with pets funny that if you haven't noticed uh the mwp in just yari's username uh stands for married with pets they're a duo and they are wonderful thank you so much for the gifted sub yori and congratulations jared as though you probably didn't know that was happening already um would love a dragon raid yes quick raid gives mount so in five years i can get it to camp tunes to get to get it yes absolutely Ah, oh, yes, a little bitty poke around. In an interview with game rant blizzard revealed that eternity's end is the final story arc of shadowlands separate interview with Invan confirmed that season three was the final season of Shadowlands. Okay, there you go. There you go. Love train. Woo! A total of 2,000. Blizzard also has offices in Austin. Texas not good with worker rights. No, Texas shit with worker rights. <laughs> and 69% not anymore. We're at level two. Uh, also, not what right to work means. Right to work is union busting. At will, employment is can be fired for any reason or no reason. There you go. Thank you, Jordana, for the correction. I appreciate it. Um, right. Okay. Um, is it, does anyone else want to join us? The queue is empty. We have spots for a healer and two DPS, but we don't need that. We can just jump in with as we are. So I might just um, turn that off. Have some of my fucking bubble tea. Sorry, I'm a union nerd. No need to apologize. No need at all, my dear. I like learning. I will forget all of it. Oh, fuck off. This one's broken. It won't give us an item. But sorry, we'll still go through it, but I'll just have to do another one after this. Um, I, I like learning. I know I won't retain 99% of it, but I still like learning it. What are we if not- Because I'm one of those weirdos. The Argent Crusade Take care, so busy with other things. Of course, not a problem at all, Anya. And are preparing for a massive attack upon the Scourge. Our mission is a bit more subtle, but equally as important. With the attention I joined, but I died. I'm really like level ten. It won't let you in the instance. It's um minimum of level fifty to be able to do what we're doing. But that's okay though. Keep pushing. Keep leveling, and you'll be able to join us next time. Has a private chamber outside of the frozen throne. Deep within a place called the Halls of Reflection. God, whatever Jess has put on that chicken champions. smells amazing. We will cut a swath of destruction through this cursed place and find a way to enter the Halls of Reflection. If there is anything of value to be found here, it will be found in the halls. This is 9 pm. It means the it's bedtime, of course. Totally fine. Rest well, matey. We'll see you next time. In fact, I'll see you tomorrow. Because that's my name. Did you? Oh, whatever you were putting on the chicken smells amazing. Chicken's already cooked, yeah. Oh, wow. Holy shit. It's like soy rice and everything. Oh, yum. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, tomorrow's marathon stream. So you're gonna have to buy a subscription or something. Yeah, you've said that a couple times. Bonus big R stream, indeed. Indeed. Grab some more of them 50s. <gasps> Lars, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Thank you.
That's 100 tomorrow. Brilliant. Being and lurking. Love that. Thank you so much, Shuri. Much appreciated. Happy Friday, Luz. Right back at ya. Actually, rough time working dungeons after work. Yes. I just, I hope you don't get Forger Souls. I mean, it's a great dungeon to do, but like the fact that it doesn't give you the item at the end just fucking blows. Ha. Oh my god. So hot. Holy shit. Oh! I got a hype train emote. Thank you guys. The laptop CPU seems to be at 80 plus degrees. Turn it off for now. Don't CPUs usually run that hot? It's like when the rest of it is that hot, it's a problem. 10 a.m. your time to start tomorrow. It is. It is. Is that a bug not getting the item? Yes. It is, yeah. Um, so I popped it on the there's a there's a thread. There's two threads actually on the bug report forums. So I popped it in the one that had more replies, more views. And um I also reported it in-game via the bug report thing. <laughs> Super old 2015 laptop is so strong. Fantastic! But 40 degrees is normal? I don't remember. I just know that they actually, they run like really hot um, and that's why you have the thermal paste and the heat sink to draw it away from there, but it's still going to be high. It's not going to cool it down. You can't have a CPU running at 12 degrees because it won't be fucking working. Um, yeah, I don't know. Google it. <clears throat> My CPU is always maxed out at 100 or bounces around the 90s when I'm, especially when I'm streaming. Uh, don't shiver to sleep. No worries at all. Rest well. Rest well, we'll see you tomorrow. So laptop mm, has nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with it. Laptops still have heat sinks and stuff. They're not as big and chunky, but they're still there. Otherwise they wouldn't function correctly. Enjoy your luckness. Enjoy. Mm, laptops generally run hotter. Older laptops will probably also have crappy thermal paste applied, which is dried. Correct. Correct. CPU is supposed to run at 100%. If you're using it, yeah. Exactly what Jack said. Word for word. If you're using it, yes. recommend spending a little bit of time just kind of googling bits and bobs around about your, your PC and stuff because um yeah it seems like you're concerned about stuff that isn't a concern um and that just adds stress and, and stuff so like if you find something that you're concerned about maybe give it a google and just see if it's something actually worth being concerned about or if you can just not worry because having less stress is a good thing makes you live longer Ah, uh, good times everyone. Indeed, she will well. Thank you.
laptops, I'd only start to worry if you're hitting 90 to 95 under load. I suppose it's nothing to worry about, it's just I'm stumped at what the cause of my super lagginess is all. Uh, probably because it's old as fuck. Didn't you say it was like 2005 or something? Oh no, 2015. That's not too old. That's only, what, seven years? Finally. Seven years is still pretty old for a, a computer. Like, that's probably what's happening. It's just the parts are reaching the end of their life. Yeah, of course, the super like this is probably you're on an old laptop, exactly. <laughs> Same problems, a laptop doesn't lag. Uh, well, if it's a new one, then if it's still under warranty, then I'd be taking it back to the store. Yeah, if it's if it's only a year old and it's still under warranty, I'd take it back to the store. I will sever your soul from your body. <clears throat> your soul from your body. <clears throat> Not just so excessive to worry about. It has old hardware. I basically got ripped off. Then I'd be taking it back anyway. The vortex of the harvested calls to you. If you bought it from a store, there will be consumer protections that they cannot waive. Literally. Like, there, there is a, like, you must have X amount of warranty on the thing. If they, if they told you it was out of warranty and it was heavily discounted because of that, then that's fine, but then it's not a year old. It's, like, the laptop is not a year old in that case. happened there. Um, yeah, you're not gaming on a laptop that cheap, yep. I'm still ahead of years, weren't you? And so you took an entire year to kind of just, like, the, the first time you booted it up and it was laggy as hell, I would have just taken it straight back then and there. But yeah, no, an $800 laptop is not going to be good for gaming. Like, they're just not strong enough, they're not powerful enough. It's not that it's old hardware, it's that it's cheap hardware. There's a difference. It's like you wouldn't you wouldn't go bungee jumping with a cord that costs you twenty bucks. You'd want to spend a decent amount of money and get a, like a really good quality, can handle the load kind of cord to go bungee jumping with. Do you know what I mean? It's the same thing with gaming, except your life's not a risk. <laughs> you get what you pay for. An $800 laptop is the, what my mum uses to do to run her business from. She uploads videos, she does video calls, she checks her emails. That's it. I such a new started playing yesterday, didn't realise you can zoom out. Ah! There you go, you've learned! That's awesome! But yes, you can. You can zoom out and you can zoom in. It's amazing. You can zoom all the way like into your character's head to play first person. I do not recommend it. You can't see shit, but you can do it. You can do it. Just can't afford 3000 AUD gaming desktop. Not everyone has that money. No, I'm aware. Neither do I. I have $23,000 worth of dental work to get done. I do not have $12 to spend on a gaming PC. But if you can save up 800 bucks, you can save up 1200 bucks. It just takes you a little bit longer. And you have two laptops. You do not need two laptops to game with. Like, you know, you save up the 800. 
you save up a little bit extra, you sell the old laptop for a couple hundred, and then you've got 1200 bucks to buy a gaming desktop. Like that's, yeah. Yeah, if your old laptop has any kind of dedicated GPU, it'll be better for gaming. Yeah. Like fighting in a cupboard? Yes, definitely, definitely. 1600 GBP gaming desktop, I'd love that fucking oath, I would too. Good lord. I've never had anything that expensive. At all, ever. Um, I have three laptops. Well, there you go. That's entire. You can't gain. You can't use all three of them at once. So why do you have them? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If 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 you want something, if you want one thing that's really nice and good, you you either sacrifice other things or you you wait. You have patience. You save up. You work. You you cut back and eat on a budget. You don't eat takeout as much. You know, you, you cut back on all those other expenses and save up the money to buy what you want. That's what I have to do. That's what everybody has to do. Everyone has to make choices about savings and stuff. It's more than what my last two cost. This one cost me 1200 The one before that cost me 1500 that's still only 2700 That's still not a $3,000 gaming PC. <laughs> there is no point dropping that much every fucking three years. Four years, five years, however often you... you like, no. No, absolutely not. <clears throat> uh, you know, mine's probably worth a fair bit more than I spent on it these days. Oh, fuck yeah, I think most PCs these days have actually appreciated in value somewhat. If they're any... Like, if you built them in the last couple years... Fuck, man. The cost of those chips, man. They've, uh, they've exploited. Probably get more, um, instead of selling it to somebody to use, you probably get more selling it to someone who wants it for the silicon. As ridiculous as that sounds. I feel I suck at saving. It's a skill you need to learn. It's a skill you need to get through life. So tempted to sell my 2072 year old for profit. This is worth more than I would also like to admit. Dollars a day. Oh, uh, you get a good tax refund and blow it on a new gaming rig. Mine was 1300. Of course, my the numbers I was giving were all in AUD. I'm just, like not sure what other currencies people are talking about, but yeah, that's a. Uh... Mmm. Hey, Marcus. Uh, I was 12, so I saved my school lunch money by not eating lunch after a month. Put roll the blades. <laughs> Parents went mad they found out financial budget priorities. Good lord, Healy. Yeah, please do eat. Please, please eat. Eat is important. I'm 30 years old. I still feel I have a lot to learn. I'm turning 32 next month. Yeah. Uh, last desktop was technically 1500 AUD all in, although that includes two monitors, really nice peripherals, and a chunky PSU. Yeah. Bought my computer from Harvey Norman, they have a 60 month interest free finance. There you go. There you go. Obviously you still need to be able to afford the repayments. Don't go doing finances and finance and stuff like that if you can't. Same thing with Afterpay. Like try not to spend money you don't have, but if you need an upgrade, like now, and can't afford to do it right now, but you can over the time, then finance and stuff is a good way to do it. Yeah, that's it. I still can't afford much else. Well, I don't know your situation and I don't really need to know because it's your own personal details and stuff, but like saying like not everyone can spend 3000 on a gaming rig, like I would say that 95% of the people in this chat can't spend $3000 on a gaming rig, but we all have decent PCs because it's something that we're passionate about and so we made it work. We budgeted. We, we got birthday and Christmas money and shit from people and put that aside to pay for the computer. Uh, we, we sell bits and pieces that we don't need around the house to get those extra couple bucks. Um, we get tax, return, or tax returns and stuff, all this kind of shit. Like, there's so many different places you can scrimp and save money from. It takes time, yes, but it's doable. You've just got to, like, 
it has to be a priority. And if it's not your priority, then that's fine. Like, it's totally okay to have different priorities. But, yeah, you know, it's... Um... Also, never buy a pre-built PC. Build it yourself. Yes. I stood in the beam. I'm very good. We dream of spending 3k on a gaming rig. Oh, fucking oath we do. Fucking oath we do. Um, the next PC I buy... I'm sorry, Jack, is actually going to be pre-built. However, it is going to be pre-built from parts uh, by Artesian builds. I have no time for games. And that's because I am a, an affiliate with them. Um, and I've watched them build PCs on their Twitch channel. Every single order that they get for a, a PC. Step inside when you are ready for your next mission. I will meet you on the other side. Um, what was I going to say? Right, yeah, so Artesian Builds. I'm an affiliate with them. They do builds. They will work with you to find a PC, like a whole ass PC in your budget. I think they start from 1099 US, uh, but they ship all over the world. Uh, and you pick out the parts with their help if you, if you need it. Like, pick out all the parts and stuff. Um, they'll sell you that, and then they build it on Twitch so you can watch them build your PC. They do beautiful custom cases and neon jobs and all this kind of shit. So if you're looking for one of those fancy-ass things, they're really good with that stuff as well. But they can do basic shit too. They can do, a, like, a really basic build that'll get you through. Um, and then, yeah, and then they ship it. And then you get it, and it's beautiful, and it plug it, you plug it in, and it works. Because they do all the testing and stuff on their end, uh, which is really awesome. So yeah, next PC I get will be from them, uh, because like I'm I'm a firm believer in like selling shit that you believe in. <laughs> if I'm gonna be an affiliate with them, it's because I believe in what they do, and I'm going to make use of what I believe in, aren't I? So yeah, that's um that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But that's a little while off still. I need to pay the dent. The health comes first. My dentistry comes first. That is my highest priority at the time, uh, at, at the moment rather, at the time, at the moment. Um, so once that is done and paid for and, and you know, dusted and whatnot, um, then I'll be chipping some money towards the money that would be going towards dentistry. I will instead put towards um, PC build. Uh, just to, yeah, I think it's time I get me a monster. Uh, I found keeping a spreadsheet helpful. Even if you just work out your disposable income, you can set an achievable savings map per month per week. Yeah, absolutely. I have no idea what my priorities are. Just been winging it for the last 20 years. Honestly, it sounds like you could really benefit from, th from some therapy. Um, like, so therapy is not just for people who are struggling with mental health issues and stuff like that. It's also for people who are lacking a bit of direction and stuff. Um, a psychologist can help you kind of... They they are trained to ask the right questions to help you get to where you are supposed to be going in, in your own mind kind of thing. Like, they, they never just give you the answers, but they have the tools to help you find your own answers. Um, yeah, they can be really good. Building services are not pre-built. True. True that. Pre-built is buying an HP desktop or a Dell. Dell should rephrase it. Never buy a PC. You don't know what the PSU RAM storage and cooling setup is. Yes! Do they preload your games? I don't think so. I don't think so. However, I don't tend to do that. I tend to just take the hard drives out and stick them in the new. Obviously, occasionally a hard a hard drive does die, um, but not not as like your your PC needs like your your actual bits and pieces on the inside. I find need upgrading more frequently uh, than the lifespan of a hard drive. So the these hard the hard drives I have in here have lasted me like four PCs. Except one, um, the, one of the, I think it was the solid state drive died. Mm. 
Mm, there is a battle. All right, we against most places. Terms of service. Yep. We didn't get this time walking quest for that tune. Did you know? No. Fortress Souls doesn't do that. Um. Ah, oh, which means I should have probably stayed on it. Fuck. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was so autopilot because I was in the conversation that I totally fucked up. Good. I seem to just be not helping. Well, yep, that's a good idea. Like, you know, good point to, to change professionals. But at the same time, just have a look at what you've been giving them as well. Because, like, they don't just hand you a plate with the answers on it. You do need to be able to have, like, open discussions with them. And if you're not asking the right questions or giving the right info, or they're not asking the right questions because they don't know what the right questions are for you because they have limited information or whatever, like, it's... It could be either person, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. No. They're only people. Like, they're not, they're not magic. They just have the right set of training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, does anyone want to come along to the next time walking dungeon? We have space. <clears throat> I like trick them. Space! Yeah. Congratulations to Dew, Kelty, Neke, Cheerful Bay, Bjorn, and Palms on all your bonus shit. Well done. Tank scrolls. Hmm. Ragdoll flying rogue skin. <laughs> it's on its side. Space in this economy. How many hours are prox to hit level 50? Varies wildly. Wildly. Um, there are so many different variables that go into that uh, that it's practically impossible to give you an answer. Um, best bet is to just keep playing. <clears throat> Someone who knows the game, 6 to 12. Look, I've, I've seen professional speedrunners who don't get it done in 6, Jack. Like, isn't it like... 8 to 12 for like, well, I mean, I know that they say that Warlords of Drana will take you 10 hours, but it took me like a lot longer than that. From 10? Right, yeah, yeah. So like, um, the, the speedrunners and stuff do it in like 10 or whatever. It took me roughly anywhere between 17 and 22 hours for each, like for, for, well, I've got a shitload of alts for, for all them. Like it took me anywhere between that, but like, I, I have a lot of characters, so I've had a lot of experience with leveling and stuff. I'm not a speedrunner, but it's still kind of, you know. But yeah, it's, um, there are just so many different variables that go into that. So, so many. Oh, I mean, I went crazy, got to 16, 18 hours, but I've done it a lot. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, your best bet is to just, is to just keep playing. If you're focusing on having fun and immersing yourself in the storyline and enjoying yourself, it'll be it'll feel like a lot quicker than if you're like, fuck, it's been five hours, shit, I need to keep going, I need to keep going. Oh, it's only been five hours and one minute, fuck, fuck. Like, it, it's, nah, just enjoy yourself and it'll be a lot more enjoyable experience. No point worrying about the numbers. Speed run 10 to 50 was four hours. Where? Where? I still need to know how to do the main story. Pick up a quest, and then do the quest, and then pick up the next quest that it gives you, and then do the quest. That's how. Like, just keep following the quest chain. It's that easy. Mm. Wow, I was pretty good at, like, spoon-feeding you the next step in the quest. <clears throat> mm. 
During the anniversary? Ah, oh, yeah, that's during the anniversary with like the buffs and everything. <clears throat> Good day to you. Hey there. You need something? How are you? See you later. Because I want to enjoy leveling, also didn't want to be leveling for three months. Nah, you won't be. Um, maybe like a while back. <clears throat> um, maybe maybe like a while back it would have taken that long. Like if you were doing it at a really casual case, like um, casual pace, like you know, a couple of hours once a weekend, like every every weekend sort of thing. But no, nah, th these days it's a hell of a lot faster. They've really streamlined the whole process and, and um, shortened it substantially. <clears throat> it still might take you a couple of weeks if you're playing like an hour or two a night sort of thing. But um... Or if, if you play like three or four times a week for a four or five hour block, you know? Like if, if it's, if you're not like going hardcore, it, it might, it'll still take you a couple weeks for your first character. But um, no, nah, it's a, uh, it's an enjoyable experience. Like leveling, I really enjoy leveling, especially that first tune, you're never gonna have that experience again. And learning the storyline and learning about all the different characters and how they all fit into the world and all that kind of stuff is, it, it will help later. It will help later. It's worthwhile immersing yourself in it and taking your time with it. <clears throat> Enjoy your luck, Zem. They're regular but not huge blocks most evenings after the kettles are down. Yeah, so it'll still it'll take you a couple weeks to get through it. But like make the most of those couple weeks. Enjoy it. Learn about the characters that you're you're helping and harming and yeah. Become one with the world of Warcraft. Become the champion you were meant to be. What level can you do mount dungeons raids? Uh, that really depends. Um, they, they, they're all sorts of different levels. Um, because when they did the swish, when they did the big the level swish, because we used to, like, in Battle for Azeroth, the last expansion, max level was 120. So instead of us going to 130, they squished 120 down to 50 and made the new level cap 60. And so all the different level caps from the different expansions also got squished down. Um, so a lot of them are accessible a lot earlier than you would think. But I would highly recommend not stopping at like level 25 to go do mount farming. I would highly recommend getting your first character to max, then thinking about collections and stuff like that. Like, just... Be patient. Have some fucking patience. And and level that first character up to max. And then start exploring the rest of the stuff that the game has to offer. Become the champion. Heal the wounds. Exactly. Exactly. Endgame is endless. Endgame is enormous. This is a huge game. We've got 17 years worth of content for you to explore and learn and read and play. 17 years worth of content. There is no rush for you to do anything. Just take your time, enjoy your experience of leveling your first turn up to 60. 
and try not to get overwhelmed by everything that, that opens up to you once you hit max level. Because there's a lot that you can do and it's really, really easy to like, holy fuck, how am I going to fit all of this in the day or the week or the month? Like how, the, and then there's this event that I'm like, fuck, what am I supposed to fight? How, what do I need to do first? Like, there's so much to do. There is an endless amount of stuff to do in WoW. Um, and you can't get all, you can't do all of it. <laughs> you, you literally can't. Um, so just kind of explore, try this, try a bit of that. Try, try a bit of everything. And, and see which parts of it you really love. See which parts of it you keep being drawn back to. And do them. And then if you get bored of that, see if there's something else in the game that draws you to it for a while. And, and change and do that for a bit. And then do something else and something different. And, and go through the whole thing and just explore. It's it's a beautiful game. It's really, really awesome. And uh, you know what they there's a reason I've been playing it for 15 years. There's a reason I've been playing it for 15 years. 18 is 20. Yeah, but it's not 18 till November. It's not 18 till November. We're closer to 20 to 17 than it is to 18. Ah, uh, story is so much better in my very limited experience. The only other game of this vein I tried was New World. I liked the game in parts that didn't have a story arc or I was missing stuff. Look, I've heard the reason I laughed is that I've heard so much shit about New World. I never tried it myself, but um. I have quite a few friends who did and who were not, not happy with it. Now to finish mm, and enjoy the hype train which is coming soon for what's next. Exactly, exactly. There's always something new on the horizon you know and it's usually something pretty fucking exciting. Been a lot to catch up on. Leveling a demon hunter. Uh, not leveling. This one's 50 already. Yeah, it's level 50. Um, so I'm not actually leveling anything with time walking because, um, the, I mean, technically I'm leveling because I have an experience bar, but I'm not like intentionally doing that. I'm just trying to get more badges. Um, I'm just trying to get the prism at the end of the dungeon to get the 500 badges and then I swap to the next tune. Uh, cause there's so much stuff I need to buy. So it's far more uh, time effective for me to just get 500 badges per dungeon rather than try to farm them out on one tune. Um... Uh, but I main a mage. I'm a fire mage main. Uh, Are you threatening me with violence because of the class I'm deciding to play at the moment? We don't do that here, ASAP. <laughs> we we don't we don't judge people for playing classes or factions or anything like that. We're we're chill. Uh, no collecting in New World. So freaking lame. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta give it time. The collecting- the collection game takes time to build. Like, how can you collect when there's like, literally three weeks worth of content? Like, come on. Come on. Cut them some slack. Cut them some slack. Uh, what was the mount tonight? Uh, the- ooh, Black Dragon Turtle? I think it's a Black Dragon Turtle, yeah. New World indeed don't have a proper story arc. Oh, that sucks. Were they just gonna like implement that later or did they just think, ah oh, nah, it's fine, it doesn't need a story? Because I mean a lot of people do talk about these kind of games and go, ah, oh, you know, we don't pay attention to the story anyway, we just wanna do we just wanna hit things. But like it's kind of important. Like, I don't know, maybe just for me. Oh, excuse me. Good morning, Bentu. I hope you're having a lovely day. I think one or two years it may be very good. It's early days, I need time, IMO. Combat's good, audio is unreal, some areas need work. In game economy on my server is jacked. Uh yeah, I heard some uh Yeah. There was there was a lot. There was a lot. Cool. I thought so. I quite like the way it looks, personally. Finally a lot cool tier and allied race! Ah! Enjoying leveling a druid. Well done, Matt. Congratulations. Good job. New World Professions are really good, the game is reasonably enjoyable. It needs a few more updates to get where it needs to be, and for the love of god it needs mounts! <laughs> Wasn't it- I- like, I feel like I heard that it was completely broken. Like that the game was just buggy, like game-breaking bugs and it just didn't work and stuff. Was that just exaggeration? I know that- I know players fucking exaggerate everything. When something goes wrong, the world is ending. Um, but like, is that legit or is that just people bitching? <clears throat> um, New 
World was more designed to be a live content PvP game from what I can tell. Yeah, that was the big thing. I was like, the whole thing is forced PvP. Nah, I'm good. Like, the f like as soon as I heard that, I'm like, I'm out. I don't even want to try it. I, I have no desire. That's fine. Like, I'm, I'm glad it's there for people who do want it. That's great. But personally, me no. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Uh, Druid sounds like a good character to do. Brilliant! I have five Druids. They're nice. Uh, cool to in Druid forms. Yes, it was legit. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Especially to those who, like, spent decent money on it and shit. Like, I'm so sorry. That sucks. <clears throat> Max with the economy and maybe game breaking, not very server to server. As a whole, I wouldn't say it's full of bugs. If it fixes your mounts quickly, I'm not bringing more until they've gone through more. Mm. Well, I wouldn't. Okay, economy and uh, a server economy. I would never call that a bug. That's a result of players using the tools that they have available to them to, to do what they want. That's creative use of game mechanics. Um, if the game mechanics are there to allow the server to become completely, the economy to become completely fucked, that's a design issue, not a bug. Um, from my from my perspective, at least. Um, I'm not in game dev. Full disclaimer, I'm not in game dev. Um, so maybe it is a bug, like where legitimately like people are putting it up for a certain amount, but it's allowing people to buy it for a different amount. That is a bug. And that will also break the economy. Um, but like, it's, um, I don't know. And being like, yeah, look, we're not gonna, I think I've DC'd. I have absolutely DC'd. Are we connected? Are we back? Chat's not reconnected yet. Hmm. Chat's still broken. A second. I think we're still- I think we're live. Everything on my dashboard is indicating we're live again, but I can't see anything in chat because it's broken. Um, let's try refreshing that and seeing what happens. Welcome to the chat room. There we go. I should- I should be fine now. Whoop! There we go. Fuck load of spam. Great. Um... Hello. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but everything everything went bonk. Um, I got booted from WoW and stream cut out as well. So clearly that was fun, but that's okay. It look it happens sometimes. Nothing we can really do to control it. All we can do is respond to it, and we've done that. I've done that. Apologies to for the inconvenience, but um. Nothing I can fucking do about it, so you'll have to live. <laughs> you'll just have to survive. <laughs> yeah, this has been happening a lot. Um, so I've been having a lot of random disconnects, like internet just shutting off during the day and stuff. Um, I think it's the router. I think it's the router. I've spoken to my dad and um, uh, looking at picking up a new one and he's gonna send me one so that's nice of him um so fingers crossed we'll get that from him and it will kind of solve the issue but yeah i've been having it used to be like one every every few weeks or whatever um and now it's getting up to be like at least one a day sometimes two a day 
Uh, so I'm, I, I, I can't think of what else it could possibly be because our ISP has got, had no dropouts or anything like that. So we'll try a new router. And if it's still happening, then I'll be calling the ISP and being like, excuse me, what the fuck? Bugs happen. They do. Yeah, bugs, bugs happen. Um, it's not even a bug though. Like even disconnects and, and broken shit happens. You can have the most perfect code in the universe and something will look at it funny and it will break. Like... <laughs> It's, yeah, it is, it's fine. Jokes about Amazon not liking talking about bugs in there, get, look, on Twitch nonetheless. Yeah, look, it's fine. But no, um, so yeah, it's, uh, I did see the comment about gold duping. That is a bug, but I wouldn't call it, I still wouldn't necessarily call it an economy bug. Um, because like, it, that's just, that's just a game bug and that is a game breaking bug. That's totally fucked. A single player game duping gold is is one thing because that's just like a cheat code, right? That's just cheating. But on like a multi, like in a in an MMO, oh boy, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, you know, and it's it's all good, all well and good them saying we're not going to put out any new content until we fix the bugs with the content that already exists. But then are they going to have no new content for three years? That's not. That's not feasible from a from a company like from a, a company perspective. So like I don't know. It just not only that, but are they going to retain a player base until the bugs have been fixed? Because from what I've been seeing, everyone's jumping ship. Not everyone, of course, but from what I'm seeing, a lot of people are jumping ship. And look, I'm not going to argue whether that's right or wrong. But, um, you know, everyone has, we've, we've got finite time and it, we need to make the right, to, we need to make the right decisions on what we're going to spend that finite time doing. And if something's broken and not fun, then you shouldn't waste your time on it. You just will look at it funny. Yeah, fair. Fair. It's my fault bringing up new world. No, 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 no. Totally fine, Hilly. That's not actually what happened. I, I highly doubt that. Twitch booted me off for talking shit about a game. And even then, I'm not actually talking shit. I'm asking questions and providing my opinion on things that happen in all games. So look. True, the players set the prices. Mm. There's no I don't level in dungeons. Went through two tanks and two healers. Yeah. I tend to not level using anything that relies on another player. When I say solo experience, I mean solo experience. I, I don't level using anything that relies on another player doing something. Cause nah. Just verb, I think. Uh, when my brother got a new job in computer programming, I bought him a month that says 100 bugs in the code, 100 bugs in the code, take one down, mess it around, 9,999 bugs in the code. Yeah, I've uh, I've seen the joke around a lot. It's great. And it's, it's true, you know, fixing a bug creates another bug. Hey, Ethna, what is it about gold duping? Is this about New World? I love that you knew exactly what we were talking about. Like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was. Um, I, I haven't played it and I have no intention to play it. It just like outside of all the bugs and shit, like fuck all that off. It just didn't look like my kind of game. And that's okay. Not everything is made for everyone. Uh, it's five for the quest, but it's okay. Um, you have to kind of go all the way back to the start to find, um, the, the fifth one, I'm pretty sure. Preserve. Why? There's no uh, I normally don't. It was like, I'm 47% of 49. Can't be bothered dealing with quests. I've been picking herbs in queue. Probably would have taken you about a quarter of the time to do the quests. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Oh dear, I think the game is good. Got me in the genre. Wouldn't say negative things just for the sake of it. It's my honest view. I think I made the correct choice to move to out. Totally fair. All of those are incredibly valid. And because they're personal decision, it's a personal decision as well. Like what you play is going to be right for you. Just be, it might not be right for somebody else, but it's your, you know, it's your decision. 100 bugs in the code, 100 bugs in the code. You take one down, mess it around, null pointer exception bugs in the code. <laughs> oh, fuck. Also bugs, yeah, but automated tests help so much with avoiding making bugs. And yeah, I'm a dev. I would imagine that not everything can be like detected and fixed with automated tests though, because players, users will find creative ways to fuck shit up that a program simply can't. 
Or am I totally wrong in that assumption? Hey there. Have a good one. Hello. See you later. Good day to you. Safe travels. <clears throat> They did making chopping down, chopping a tree down impressive, which is amazingly hard to do, Aimo. Impressive the first time, or impressive the 500th time? That's the key. Or Dragoness. Ah, oh, she's a bad, she's a bad person. Bad guy, whatever. Be careful. Uh, right, so 14.05. On this one. Uh, it comes to fucking with it, you can write tests for virtually all that. It's a matter of knowing it's there. For me, first step of fixing bugs, writing tests that showcases that bug happens, and only then I start fixing. I can then be reasonably sure I won't reintroduce it later. Yes, but like, if you personally don't find the bug and then write the thing to to prove that the bug happens, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're only one set of eyes, slash hands, slash brain. When, when you have like one person testing something to try to break it versus 10 people who all have very different perspectives and ideas on how to break a thing versus a thousand versus when you get up to, you know, the hundreds of thousands of users, there's a reason that pretty much every game ever, ever released has had bugs in it because developers cannot like... You're only one perspective. You're only one person thinking of how this game or how this program could be broken. Humans are infinitely creative, and that's beautiful, but also very frustrating. <laughs> uh, every time the audio is great, plus anyone doing the background sounds different, plus the size changes things again. Cool. Interesting. Every time, honestly, that's good. That's really good to hear. Yeah, knowing the bug is there is there is essential. Yeah, only real problem, I'm Yeah, well, I know, but that's that's the whole issue that we're talking about, though, F. Sure, like fixing the bug, whatever, but you need to know if they don't know it's broken, they can't fix it. And you're just saying, yeah, but it's fine. I just write a thing for it. It's like, well, no, you gotta fucking find the thing first. And that's the first issue. If you don't know it's there, you can't fix it. And if you can't find it, what's to say someone else can't? You know, this is, this is the, like, this is why QA is so important. This is why PTRs are important, all this kind of stuff, because like, actually having multiple pers perspectives trying to break shit is essential to find all the bugs. That's okay. Uh, right, did anyone want to do a time walking? If not, that's okay. I'll pop myself in the queue. Uh, all well, Jack can do pretty much. Oh, Jack's on DPS anyway. So yeah, um, I'm on Kira. So that's that's this. Whoa, too close. There you go. There's your spelling. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there was some new world devs that knew the bug there, um, and even how they could be used. Probably a matter of deadlines, level of fundamental fuck ups they did. It's asking for trouble. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Main issue was I leaned into making potions, leveled those skills, gathered, then couldn't sell them without making a loss. As a mid lane player, that just doesn't work for me. My vision for my dude was an old wizard making top tier potions for super PvP to fight wars for my team, higher the potion, bigger the financial hit on gold. Yeah, see, that's that's an issue. I mean, it does, even in World of Warcraft, it can get to the point where you can spend an exorbitant amount of gold learning a craft and leveling it up. And then the shit will sell for nothing because there's a ton of other people who have done the same thing and so the market's flooded. Not, not at, like, there's 700 of something on the auction house but only seven people need it, you know? So of course the price is gonna drop. Um, but, like, that's part of, and that's, that's the same thing, like, flexibility in the real world. <laughs> Honestly, you can, you can invest a ton of time and money and stuff into training and learning and courses and, and degrees and certificates and all this kind of stuff and then get out into the workforce 
and find out that 50% of your fucking generation did the exact same thing, and now there are not enough jobs for all of these people graduating, and so you have to take a fucking pay hit. You have to take a job that pays next to nothing because that's what you've trained in and there's nothing else offering any more than that. The other alternative is to go back and learn something new. <laughs> like, it's, um, yeah. It's unfortunately, that's just the way most games work. And most MMOs work that way. If there's a lot of people doing the same thing, it's supply versus demand. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. obviously people, people being able to dupe gold doesn't help with that. It's really odd though. Like, if you can dupe gold, wouldn't that put the price of everything up? Because people can really easily make that much gold. Like, that's odd. That's odd. Uh, Saofang. Zillion? Saofang. Uh, happens anytime leveling the profession is tied to actually crafting stuff with the profession. It's a good idea, but leveling up the craft should be tied to turning in those items to an NPC. Yeah. In order to learn, you know, like, they can point out all of your flaws in the thing that you've made, and you learn from it. That would be cool. That would be cool. Writing a test for everything in a game would require you to do every little thing that could lead to any interaction with other things. If a hundred things can change feature A and feature A affects feature B, then there's a hundred things that affect feature B. With B finally affecting feature C, where C has a bug, that's 10,000 tests you would need you would need to do to verify feature C doesn't have an unintended injury. Yeah, it's, it's totally fucked, hey face. Like, it's just so much work. So much work. Obviously, big game-breaking bugs, like, should take priority. Like, if you have a list of known bugs, and you have a deadline that means you can only fix a certain number of those, there should be a priority system. Things that can be done really, really quickly and finished in, like, a matter of five minutes, probably a high priority. Because it can be done, wiped, everything is fine. But game-breaking shit, things that actually make the game function in a massively unintended way, should be highest priority. However, if your deadline is two weeks away and you are very well aware that this big ass problem cannot be fixed in two weeks, it cannot be done, but you have seven other slightly lower priority, but still pretty fucked up things that can all be fixed within that two weeks, you're going to fix the seven and leave the massive game breaking, breaking one in. Prioritizing is shit. It sucks, but it's a necessary skill in anything and everything. <laughs> it just, you have to, you just have to. Ugh, God. I'm glad I don't work in game dev. I like playing games. <laughs> I will sub I will report hella fucking bugs. But, um... I barely speak English. I don't want to have to learn programming languages. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna carry it on. Mmm. Turn up all trade trades pretty quickly. Prices never really increased. Ah, but everyone knew how to do. So pretty poor as usual. Fair, fair. <clears throat> this is why WoW QA testing misses stuff. QA testers can't be expected to play through the whole campaign every time they need to test a specific quest, so they test it in isolation. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the first time, they should absolutely test through the entire campaign in one fell swoop. But then when they find issues with specific quests along the way, when they go back, they will only test those specific quests in isolation. Like, I, I feel like that's how that must work. I mean, that's how I do things. Like, you play through the whole thing. If it breaks at certain points, then you go and fix those points. But you don't have to play through the whole thing again at the end. Or, well, you're supposed to, but sometimes you don't have time. <laughs> New World didn't have a PTR server until very recently. We're having this discussion about the, necess the necessity of PTRs. Uh, Dano, Bjorn, Zam, Zem, Du, and Dos, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, because uh, Final Fantasy doesn't have a PTR. And uh, the discussion was around um, how it would be better because we wouldn't ever get any spoilers if we didn't have a WoW PTR. But, like, also the game would be fucked, so... <laughs> the, 
you know, like you, you need that testing to be able to make sure things run okay. I just don't think it's worth it to completely cut a PTR just to avoid something that could be very easily avoided by not reading Wowhead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just my opinion. But yeah, that was the whole thing we were talking about. <clears throat> I don't have knowledge to know if this is accurate, but have seen enough comments to believe the engine they use is difficult to work uh, to work with finding issues. Fixing, fixing issues. But they have fixed lots, so not sure. Look, potentially. Potentially. There was a Twitch clip a while ago of a QA person playing Halo, I think. He talked about how he was the QA for the level he was on. Next second later, a ship that was dropping enemies broken, spun around, and flew through the ground. <laughs> Uh, cue the person being like, uh, that did not happen when I was testing it. Like, <laughs> it does though, the two months before raid launch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so no, no, that's okay, Healy, not a problem. I just wanted to make sure that I was, like, getting the right, um, the, like, you know when you see a type and you're like, oh, they must have meant this one instead. But I, do I don't know if... That was, like, I wanted to double check that that's what you meant. So I did. But that's okay. It was his exact words too. Yeah, I mean, that's... Pfft. We're all human, right? That's exactly how we would have reacted. Like, um, uh, what? <laughs> that's really funny, though. I really like that. I can just, I can imagine us have, like, I can imagine a streamer having that kind of, like, the conversation we're having, you know, QA is so important, you know, it's really important to deliver as polished a product as you can, you know, I worked QA, in fact, I worked QA on the game that I'm currently playing, and, and it was such a great experience, the company was great to work with, and, you know, sometimes the platforms we have to submit the bugs we find are really, really dodgy, but this company's one was really good, I felt like I did a really good job, we really loved the finished product and blah blah, blah. and this was actually one of the levels I QA tested. Everything breaks. Well, that was a fantastic advertisement for my skills. <laughs> uh, hey, do you think a modern trend for either say something nice or don't say anything at all is kind of disruptive for adequate exchange of feedback between people? So I think there is an extent where it can be applied and also not. I think that bullshit needs to be caught out, uh, called out, not caught out, called out. Bullshit needs to be called out. Um, like if someone says something and it's racist, you need to be able to turn around to them and say, that's fucking racist. It's not a nice thing to say, but you should say it. You should not keep your mouth shut. Because the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. That's how I feel. However, that being said, there have been umpteen million occasions <laughs> um, where someone will come into stream and they'll be lurking. You know, I, I don't know that they're there or whatever. And then all of a sudden they'll pop up in chat with, with the same tag. You've got first time chat from viewer lev. And, and they'll say something like, you're fat and ugly and I don't like your content. I'm leaving. Bye. And it's like... That was entirely unnecessary. Like, what? what it, it's the thing that people keep saying, and I fucking love the word, the, the phrase, is this is not an airport, you do not need to announce your departure. If you don't enjoy something, that doesn't mean that you need to shit talk the person or make them feel horrible about themselves or try to make them feel horrible about themselves or anything like there's there is a line there is an appropriate time to just walk away because the thing is you may not enjoy my content not not talking about you specifically just, just a person may not enjoy my content but enough people do that i've made twitch partner enough people do i mean either that or they're all hate watching um which is an interesting concept in, in and of itself but uh you know um so like not not everything is for everyone. We were talking about this about uh, games and stuff before, you know, just because you don't enjoy a particular game, you thought it was bad, doesn't mean that other people aren't allowed to enjoy it. Same thing with stream content, same thing with YouTube videos, um, all that kind of stuff. Like, if you don't like something, you are free to watch something else, to, to leave and go somewhere else or whatever. However, 
bad behavior needs to be called out. Racism, transphobia, homophobia, sexism, uh, misogyny, misandry, all that kind of, like, bad behavior and shit needs to be called out. So it's, it's not if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, because then no one would say anything to racists. And that's not okay, because, the, like, they need to be told, because a lot of them may never have been told, because they grow up in a group of people who are just like them. And so never, ever, no one ever tells them, what you are saying is bad. So they need to hear that, so that they can potentially, maybe one day, improve themselves. That's a good thing. But, not every nasty thought that a person has needs to be vocalized either. I don't think there is a hard and fast rule for what you should and what you shouldn't say. Uh, I think the standard you walk past is the standard you accept is a really good thing to live by. Like if you see something happening, if you're in a if you're in a, a chat for a game and someone uses a slur, fucking report them. Because if you allow them to use that word and they face zero consequences for it, a slur under any umbrella, you don't need to engage them on it. You can just report them. But if you don't, and they go unpunished for using slurs, what do you think they're gonna do again? Use slurs. So yeah, it's um, people need to face consequences for their actions. But if it's not bad behavior, then you are free to just walk away and like, go watch something else or do something else, do something that gives your life joy rather than unloading your upset anger, whatever it is, on, on another person. Daron, yeah, I think, I think that's, to join my yeah. I hope you enjoyed my entire fucking rant. <laughs> ask, ask important questions and you will receive a fear talk. Uh, like a TED talk, except fear, because I'm fear, because I'm not TED. Yep, yeah, cool. Good. I'm glad that everyone understands that now. <laughs> Oh, fuck. This is fun. This is good. It's a good rant. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Hilly. I rant a lot. Like, I rant a lot a lot. Um, there's, that's why there's a name for them. Fear Talks. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a very opinionated person. I, I have a lot of opinions, and over the six years, nearly six years that I've been streaming, I have learned that people like hearing about my opinions, whether or not they agree with me. Um, some people don't like the opinions they're hearing, but they like having the discussion about it. Uh, and there have been definitely times where I've expressed my opinion and people have pointed out things that have poked holes in my opinion. And I've gone, oh, fuck, you're right. You're absolutely right. I need to adjust my opinion. Uh, and there have been other times where I've given an opinion and someone has vehemently disagreed with me and I've poked holes in their opinion and they've kind of gone, oh, shit, I need to adjust my opinion too. And it's not necessarily the whole opinion. Sometimes it's just part of it. You know, a little bit is kind of like, oh, I have new world information. I need to slot that into my into my sphere of of, of knowledge and belief. Uh, and sometimes that requires an adjustment. And that's okay. We're always learning. All of us, always learning. Love a good fear around as why I look. Yay! I'm so pleased to hear that, Ness. I'm so pleased to hear that. Very smart person. I'm oh, Azra, thank you. I Look, I don't think I'm necessarily smart. I think it's like, I've learned a lot. I have a lot of life experience. I'm, I'm about to turn 32. I know that's not that much life experience, but I've had enough shit happen in my life. Um, and I've had enough shit happen near me to people I'm close to, uh, enough different stuff to have kind of grown this sort of, and, and meeting an exceptionally diverse group of people via Twitch. Um, such a diverse group of people and I've learned all about their experiences and I've been able to add their viewpoints or approximately their viewpoints into my own kind of sphere of knowledge or whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, I've, I've been like, oh good, that, that's, that's a perspective I didn't have. I, I didn't even think of it like that. Like when, with Dupe before, with the, the whole like celebrity death type thing, I never even thought of it that way. So when someone else can provide me that perspective, I go, shit, I never thought of it that way. I can add that to my to my knowledge and and develop my kind of my worldview from there we'll try to at least doesn't always work uh my take is that more and more forms of communication are being stigmatized as shit talking and people are becoming overly sensitive or defensive about themselves that is happening in a way absolutely um 
However, it's also like, it's anonymity. This has always happened online. This has always happened in in like game chats and, and on platforms where you don't have to use your real name. People aren't afraid to say what they mean and all this kind of shit because it can't be linked back to them. Um, so they can say, they can use slurs and they can say ridiculous bullshit and they can abuse the hell out of a person and stalk them and harass them and all this kind of shit because they think it can't touch them. And people are taking it that same approach, but on the other end of the spectrum. Like, instead of abusing and harassing innocent people, they're abusing and harassing people who have done wrong. Cancel culture. You know, you do one thing wrong, you're not allowed to learn from it. You're not allowed to come back from it. You're not allowed to um, take that advice on board and, and improve yourself for it. You are bad and you must never ever be allowed to speak to anybody ever again. You may never have a platform. You may not do anything at all ever. Get, be gone from the internet. Um, and I don't think that that's healthy. I don't think that's healthy at all. Uh, I do believe 100% that certain people should be removed from certain spheres. Absolutely. If if someone tries to groom a child, we know what that means. I, I don't need to spell it out. If someone tries to groom a child, they should never be allowed to have any kind of contact with children ever again. Usually we accomplish that with prison. Uh, but, you know, like, if you, you, th this is the whole thing about, you know, when I said calling out people who are, for example, racist, because they may never have heard, because they're surrounded by people in their own sphere who say the same things, who feel the same way. And if that's, that's what has been drilled into them, they've never known anything else because that's, that's who they are within life. And being on the internet is the first time they've ever encountered someone with a differing opinion. If, if someone uses a fucking slur on the internet, there is a chance that they did not know it was a slur. A chance. Obviously, repeated issues is something different, but saying something once, twice, if the first time wasn't called out, if there's no proven history, like, do you know what I mean? Like, if it's... It can genuinely be a mistake. I was in a voice call with somebody very, very recently. I'm not going to say who because for obvious reasons, who used a word who, that was a slur. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I never in a million years would have expected this person to use that slur because I love this person. They are an incredible person in every way that I can possibly think of. And they used this slur. And I kind of, I was taken aback. I didn't say anything for it. Like I was like, uh, uh. And then they continued on their sentence and they used the word again. And the people I was in the call with found their voices because I was still in shock and said, that's a slur. And they said, what? You're joking. And so we educated them. We pulled up pages. We did Googling. We, we showed them that it was a slur. And they said, oh, my fucking God. I have never, I did not know that was a slur. I am so sorry. It's all good. Now you know. Don't use it again. Learning and growth and development. The fuck? In this economy? <laughs> Looking to see what I did there. So there are there are cases where cancel like cancel culture is absolutely terrible. Um, but like obviously when there's a repeated pattern of behavior and all this kind of shit, then that's terrible. But like it's oh the internet has just kind of made everything really com complicated and fucked up. But also I love the internet because I have a job. So <laughs> You know, it's all a bit difficult. It's all a bit tricky. So smarter than ever. Oh, Sam, thank you. Mm. I appreciate that you say it how you see it and don't tolerate bullshit while accepting different views. I try to. I try to. There are some different views that I really struggle to accept, honestly. Um, but I, I try to, like... I am honored. There, there is always going to be a point um, with with some particular topics where it's just going to have to be, look, I do not agree with you. You are not going to convince me. Um, we're gonna, we just have to stop this conversation. Right, so Kira was actually set to buy the Will of Northrend, which I can now do. So I have a new toy. Be careful.
That's nice. Um, exactly. I'm so happy. Uh, let me see if there's anything in here. Ooh, cold step slippers. Just spend the rest of them out. There's a 25. Cold step slippers, that was. All right, delete. That's it. <laughs> Brilliant. That's everything. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, see, on your face is changing. It charged into my main key through the launcher app thing. So your ears. Good morning. How's you, lady? Uh, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you, Brutal. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm guilty of not acting on bad behavior and so many times just think to myself that person is ignorant. In some ways, I feel I don't like to invite confrontation and just move on. I value my time and don't want to use my energy on them. This is likely not helping the problem. Uh, I do feel conflicted about things I've seen in games, chats, etc. Some obvious slurs I've called out that approach people with empathy rather than judgment because I'm so far from perfect myself. No, I agree. I'm also far from perfect. Um, it's like, and it's the whole, you know, oh, how can you call me out for doing that when you're not perfect yourself? Yeah, but I don't use slurs. Like, I don't use a word intentionally designed to offend a group of people. Like, you know. Um, I'm sure, like, I have used slurs in the past. 100%. I am, I'm certain of it. I don't remember what they were, because it was ages ago, because I've made very, very concerted efforts. Um, it's difficult to remove a word from your language, uh, from, from your word bank, uh, when you want to do it. It's, it's, it's hard. It takes effort. It takes focus. It takes concentration. Uh, and it takes catching yourself a bunch and, and correcting yourself. And that's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. Um, but as long as you actually do it, the thing about game chats and stuff like that is you don't need to confront. Right click report. It's that easy. There is no confrontation necessary. And I also would like to add an addendum on calling people out if it is safe for you to do so. If you are in the outside world and there is a person whose eyes are bugging out of their head and they are holding a weapon who uses a slur, maybe don't try to correct their language. <laughs> like, prob's not a safe thing for you to do. Obviously consider your safety. 100% you need to make sure that you are safe and feel safe as well. Some alternatives include if you are in the workplace, reporting it anonymously to a person in the workplace, so like be that HR or a manager or something like that, you can report that kind of shit and ask that your name be kept out of it. Or you can create a, a throwaway email address and send an email to them and be like, hey, this thing happened. I want to stay anonymous, so I'm using a throwaway thing. Um, like that, you, you know, you can you can do that kind of stuff, um, reporting them or, or whatever. Uh, in in game, yeah, it's really really easy. Just like right click. Most most games will offer you a right click report function, um, and that way you don't need to speak to them at all. Not a word. There was there was a person in that previous group that we had that used to slur, and so I right clicked and I reported them. Don't need to engage. I just report them. Down. Finished. Like no confrontation necessary because I understand. I don't like confrontation either. Uh, I do understand that it is a necessary evil. Uh, and so if something is is happening that needs a confrontation, I will like, you know, work through it and get myself to the point where I can do the thing uh, because it, it needs to happen. And confrontation is going to happen in your life, whether or not you like it, it's gonna happen. So uh, learning tools to help yourself deal with it, even if it's things like hyping yourself up beforehand, ways to keep yourself calm during it, and then things that you can do for aftercare afterwards, like just to keep yourself calm, you know, bring your heart rate down, take some deep breaths, a comfort food you can go to if that's something that you do, whatever it happens to be um, after something like a confrontation to bring you back to baseline. But look, confrontation, it's a thing. It's going to happen. You have no choice. Um, all you have, like the only thing that you can make a choice about is how you handle it. Um, do I get, yay, you gotta skip the next one, a few dogs and do the next one after I'm done. Ah, uh, there may, ooh, we'll see, there may not be another, another one after this, depends on how long it goes for. Oh, happy noises, yes, Mr. X wielding maniac, did you know you shouldn't use that word? Pr like, right? Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, excuse me, armed crazy person, you're being rude. Uh, fun fact, crazy is a word that's not necessarily nice to say, not a slur. Not, not to that kind of extent, but it is a word that personally I am working on removing from my vocabulary. Um, obviously, like I'm not 
this is not me telling you off. I'm not telling you you're racist or something. Like, it's not about that. It's, um, like, the the people in my life, the people that I have connections to and stuff, um, there are a few words that I was using very regularly in my language, um, very, like, on, like, more than daily. Uh, and they raised with me, like, hey, did you know that this could be considered a bit funky? Um, and considering that it's considered not great because of things that I'm going through myself personally, like for a lot of people, it, it doesn't affect them. It doesn't bother them. Totally fine. Whatever. But as I'm in a position where I'm influencer, uh, <laughs> I have contact with a lot of people and I don't know their stories. Um, there are a lot of people who watch me um, who I've never exchanged any words with because they're lurkers and we love them and I'm not calling them out. I'm not going through my username list of people who are watching or any of that kind of bullshit. Like we're not about that here. Let the lurkers lurk. But I'm, I'm hyper aware that anything and everything that I say or do can affect those people who I know nothing about. Um, so it's, it's kind of, so my, my own personal language, I'm sort of, learning to adjust that and see like okay is there something here that could i'm not trying to please everybody i need to make that very very clear i'm not trying to please everybody um because you know climate change is real vaccines are important you should wear your mask uh, <laughs> clearly not trying to impress clearly not trying to please everybody um but there are there may be people who have been attracted to me and my stream because of things that I share about myself. Uh, one of those big things is the fact that I have been diagnosed with cyclothymic disorder. Cyclothymic disorder is like bipolar, except it is fast. We're a bipolar uh, episode. I think they're called episodes. I forget all the time. Uh, where a bipolar episode may last weeks or months, sometimes even years, which I can't, whoa, I can't even begin to fathom. Um, my episodes tend to last, uh, at the most a week, more like days, sometimes hours. Uh, like the, the most extreme example I can think of is there was a particular day where I woke up perfectly fine. Not, not great, not terrible, but like just fine. Uh, by about lunchtime I was suicidal. Like, proper. Like, I've been there. It's, it's not pleasant. Um, I've been there multitudes of times. Um, and then by the dinner again. I was fine. I was back to fine again. Um, there was nothing that triggered it. There was no event that happened that day. It was a pretty boring day in all honesty. Um, but it was just the, the fucked up chemicals in my head doing some funky shit. And so a word like crazy. Um, I've had the word used against me a few times. And I mean against me, not used to describe me. Um, I mean used against me. Um, where someone has, you know, either dismissed me, my feelings, or my opinions because I'm just, you no, know, she's just crazy. Like, it's fine. You can just ignore her. Like, she's crazy. It doesn't matter. Um, or, like, uh, Trying to think of the word. Um, or used to, to actively try to harm me. Like you don't want to do that with her. You don't want to offer her that. You don't want to invite her. You don't want to include her. You don't want to do any of that kind of stuff because she's crazy. You'd never know when she might have a mood swing. Like that kind, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Um, and so I can see how it could harm people. So calling something or someone crazy offhand it doesn't, for me, it doesn't trigger any sort of, like, feelings or emotions or, or episodes or, or um, like, memories. It doesn't, it doesn't trigger me like that. Uh, but someone who has lived some of my experiences, who may not be as... Well-adjusted feels like the wrong fucking word. Uh, <laughs> but I've had a fuck ton of therapy and uh, therapy has been extremely effective, extremely e effective for me. I'm also on medication to help manage my symptoms. And so a combination of that plus the 
immensely support for, uh, supportful? Immensely wonderful support network that I have. I'm in a pretty fucking good place with my mental health, regardless of the fact that I deal with this shit every so often. Like literally, there are some days where I have these kind of thoughts pop in my head and I'm like, no, you are wrong. Um, or, you know, you might be right, but I don't actually care. Um, whereas someone else who is in my same position with those same lived experiences may not be in that same place that I am at the moment. And so that may harm them. And so I don't use the words. You know, it is, it is hypervigilant. It is, it is being exceptionally careful and I, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's difficult. Um, but... I never would have thought any of this if it hadn't have been exposed to me by some, like, by a friend of mine who works in this, like, works as a professional in the arena of inclusivity and, and diversity and all this kind of stuff. So it's just, it's super fucking fascinating to think about things from all of these multitudes of different perspectives, um, but at the same time, I don't want the English language to be reduced to the and and. Um, because all of these different words could be triggers and all this kind of stuff. I think it's it's a balance. It's a very, very, very delicate balance between us being aware of the effect that our words have on other human beings and the fact that they are humans and that some of them are lovely, wonderful people who have sensitivities to some stuff. And that's fine. I'm sure you have a sensitivity to something that you don't like listening when people talk about or something, you know what I mean? And that's that's totally valid, totally valid and totally fine. So it's a balance between us recognizing that our words have power and that we need to be careful with how we wield that power, but then also balancing that with us also understanding that we do have triggers. We do have things that, that stir uncomfortable emotions or memories or feelings within us and that we need to learn how to I feel like again cope with that but people have fucking abused the word cope as well with things like copium and whatnot it's like yeah they are trying to cope <laughs> they're, they're trying to get through this difficult period they're not going to be happy about it they're just trying to not suffer as much they're learning, they're learning skills so that when they hear a word or they see an image or they hear about a person or, or something happens that triggers this memory or triggers this feeling or, or makes them kind of go, fuck, that they have these, these uh, tools available to them to kind of go, you're not in danger. You're fine. Everything is okay. You are safe. Everything is all right. And those tools are hella difficult to learn, but it is a balance of both. We need to be careful about our words. We also, each and every one of us, needs to learn those, those techniques to bring ourselves down when we can recognize that a word or a noise or an image is not being used to harm us. Because the reason those triggers exist is, ob is, is often because those words have been used to harm us in the past. And, and the br human brain is not very good at telling the difference between one thing being used for bad and for good. It's really bad at trying to just tell those apart. Really, really bad. So it's it's that whole, you know, trying to feel like, okay, I've been encount I've encountered the bad. Is it actually bad? Do I need to fight or flight or something? Or do I need to just, do I need to take a breath? And then let's figure this out. And then, okay, we're safe. I can breathe. I can calm down. I can calm down off this shit. It's, look, it's a whole thing. But, um, I think both the skills are very, very important to learn. Both learning how to use our words and learning to, to bring ourselves off the edge and stuff. Like, it's, yeah. And you know what can help with all this? Therapy. Yeah. <laughs> can you tell I'm an advocate of therapy? Advocate for therapy. Words, though powerful, are difficult. Um... I dropped all slurs, slurs I'm aware of. Exactly, I've used prior after my third child was born diagnosed autism spectrum disorder. Lots of people are not lucky enough to live that experience and grow from it. So my whole view on everything and nearly everything 360, yeah, it's a, uh, and that's the key all slurs you're aware of we're gonna like we are human 
and humans are really, really, really fucking fantastic at this one particular thing. We like to call it fucking up. <laughs> We're really good at it, really fantastic at it. Um, and a lot of it's due to genuine ignorance and it's not, not malicious ignorance. Like there's putting your fingers in your ears and going, la la la, I'm not gonna learn about this new thing. I'm not gonna learn about people and, and shit and no, it's, it's genuinely not knowing. Ignorance is a lack of knowledge. Um, but you know, uh, uh, ignorant, uneducated, all these kind of words have like become attacks in and of themselves, but it's not, it's like you genuinely, you don't know. You didn't have the information. You have not been educated on this topic. How could you possibly know if no one has ever told you? This is not knowledge you re that we're intrinsically born with. You have to learn it. Uh, Ness, uh, Allard? Allard, maybe. Um, Zam, Kelty, Do, Spam, Draz, Dice, and Zondra. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Next battle. Good to me. Are you all see lady I'm fine and that's the thing like this is this is my lived experience but I'm genuinely fine um I have rough days um I am exceptionally grateful that I don't experience uh mania my my ups I call them ups and downs like I have my ups and my downs you know um and my downs are pretty fucked up but my ups are hypomanic I've never ex like no no delusions of grandeur no um uh, like hallucinations, I uh, rather by, either visual or audio, uh, auditory, like nothing like that ever. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful that that's not what my live that that's not what my experience is. Um, it's definitely hypomania, so like a fuck ton of energy over committing to things, like saying, yeah, I will absolutely do all of these things, and I will go to all of these events, and I will do all of these things for all of these sponsors. And then I come down and I go, ah, fuck. <laughs> what? Fuck, I have no energy to do all of this. Fuck. Um, so I, am, I, over the years, I've been diagnosed for two? No, it'd be more like two and a half years, but I only managed to get my actual proper medication like two years, so like six months later. That was my fault, not the doctors or anything. That was entirely my fault. Um, but I started on my meds like two weeks prior to the last packs. funnily enough. Um, I think it was last packs. Maybe it was packs before. Fuck, I don't remember. But I've I've been medicated for a while, and uh, it it fucking helps. It just instead of being like this, like my mood swings going up and down like this. It's just it makes it a little more like this. Sometimes I have a bit of a big one, and then sometimes I'll have a bit of a low one. And this, but it overall much smoother. Overall, so much smoother. Ah, uh, damn instant lockout. Oh no, Grim. Sorry, I was acting slow. Thought I wasn't here. That's okay. Not a worry. Uh, you are always the best you can possibly be. You were made that way. My friends, do let anyone... And do let anyone ever tell you otherwise. You are the smile you deserve to get. Give it you should receive. Hey, monkey, how you doing? Ah, uh, you must listen to Rafiki. Uh, it does get complicated as lots of words have different meanings. Yeah, I wouldn't use crazy when talking about a person, but would use it to describe my work. Email server. Yeah, right, and that, like... That's the thing. So I've been trying to replace the word crazy in my vocab, personally. And I, again, I'm not like yelling at everyone and calling you out for using the, that's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm doing. Um, per, me personally, um, I you may notice that I use the word bonkers a lot because it means the same thing, but it doesn't have that association with mental health from decades past. Um, bananas is another one. Um, a lot of people say things like, oh my god, that's batshit crazy. So I use batshit. And I just drop the crazy part. I'm like, holy fuck, that's batshit. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. And I don't have to use a word that I don't particularly want to use anymore that I'm trying to phase out. You know, it's, it's and I'm not, again, not trying to encourage you to do this yourselves. I'm just, this is what I'm doing. I could tell you that I'm doing, like, and I'm eating fucking activated charcoal. I would not suggest anybody do that. I'm not going to do that either. But just because I, just because it's right for me does not mean it's right for you. I'm try I was trying to come up with that whole fucking sentence for the last 20 minutes and it finally fucking formed. Good job, brain. Good job. Why is beyond your years, ma'am? Bitch, I'm old. <laughs> I'm turning 32 next month. I don't want to. Um, 
My grandmother always told me words are spells. If we abuse them and use them against another, uh, we're cursing them. So we should always be kind in our words and actions to others. This is what actually started this whole conversation, Monkey, was the whole, like, how do you feel about um, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Um, and I, there are parts of it I agree with, but I also feel like we should call people out when they say horrible things. If we, if we're not, like, if we're always being kind in our words, how do you kindly tell someone, excuse me, but what you said is just really fucking racist. Like, you can't be nice with that. You, you cannot be nice about that. You, like, you have to be blunt, else people aren't going to get it, especially if this is something that they've been using since they were, like, you know, five uh, and all their, like, their parents and all of their aunts and uncles and all of their family and everyone is racist. And so, and all their entire community and town is racist and they don't understand that what they're doing or saying is racist. They need to be told in no uncertain terms. And that is not necessarily going to be kind and it not necessarily can be kind. Um, so, yes, I do agree with, like, you know, positivity and shit. absolutely. fucking lutely um, And also, you know, on the side of things, like, someone coming in here lurking for however long and then the example I gave what was it uh you're fat and ugly and I hate your content I'm leaving by like that's unnecessary like I'm not hurting anybody you know you don't need to like uh this is not an airport you do not need to announce your departure I fucking love that phrase and I'm gonna overuse it now I can just feel it everyone's gonna get sick of me saying it but um yeah, so like there are there are obviously different extremes with that whole thing, but I think it's a lot more nuanced than just don't say anything unless it's nice. Um a strong woman fear, I'm glad to have stumbled upon your streaming community for the support and talks and coas that goes on. Thank you, Yari. I'm so glad you found me too, because it means I got to find you. I really I'm it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Uh, I often feel wiser after listening to Fear talk about Really? Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, Jesus, that's such, like, <sighs> firstly, I'm like, oh, my God, that's so nice. And then, like, fuck responsibility. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, off topic. No need to apologize. Question for chat. I'm having a very indecisive day. Can't decide which covenant to join for my fifth 60. Feral Druid. Mine's a Night Fae. Uh, Mr. Perfect segue into advertising. You know what can help with all this? Bubble Tea Club. Yeah, I know, but also therapy. Um, I have ADHD and Asperger's, if you even call it that nowadays. Uh, I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of negativity. I try to rise above and inform others instead of be affected by the negativity and ignorance. Yay! I love that for you, monkey. Well done. Well done. Yeah, I've heard that Asperger's isn't Asperger's anymore. There's something else, like it's on a scale of something. I can't, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I have heard that that's not the, the right phrase to use anymore. Um, it's, they, they changed something in the, in the diagnosis thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It was fairly recently, wasn't it? Only in the last couple of years, maybe. Uh, most of the times it is the people who had it worst who try to make other people happy because they have been at the bottom and know it's an awful place so they do not wish for others to ever get there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't agree with the majority of what you said. I feel like people need to develop stronger characters and be more resilient to stuff that might be hurtful, you know, work out mentally so that eventually less things will come off as offensive. Yeah, but I mean, like, what's that thing about kicking people when they're down? Like, if someone's been harmed by something, they need a way to be able to remove themselves so that they can recover from that injury and then come out again so that, like, you know, they may cop another injury, yeah, but they still need time to recover. Like, if it's just bash, 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 with trigger after trigger after trigger after horrible thing after slur after terrible, like, all this kind of shit, they are going to die. The only way to get stronger? Look at fucking exercise and actual literal physical workout. Like, if you're trying to convert it to a mental workout, look at physical workout. You don't go and do another session when your muscles are sore. Not that sore. That's how you cause injury and then you can't exercise for weeks because the muscle can't be used because it needs to rest and recover because you've literally done damage to it. And if you keep going, you'll do permanent damage and you won't be able to do anything with it ever again. Now replace muscle with brain. That is how you end up with people who do unspeakable things to themselves. It's, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's how that happens. I do agree with you that people need resiliency, 100%. Everyone needs to learn the skill of resiliency. But learn the skill. 
you don't teach someone something by by throwing a steel ball at their head over and over again. That's not that's not learning. That's abuse. Um, they need tools to be able to recover. They need assistance. They need help. You need a spotter. You need to work your way up. You start off with little baby dumbbells and work your way up to however many gigantic kilogram weights. And just like everybody is different, like I may never be able to deadlift a certain weight, but so, because of my body structure, like I literally just can't. But someone else can do one and a half times that much because their body is built differently and they're able to train up to the point of being able to lift that much weight. Every body is different. Every brain is different. Every training regimen will, will be different. Everyone's limit on how much their body or brain or whatever can take before they need a rest day is different. Yes, people need to be more resilient, absolutely. Which is why I said we need to learn the power of our words, but people also need to learn tools and this, the same people. I need to learn the power of my words, but I also need to learn how to cope when people throw shit my way. And in fact, I have. I've spent God knows how many years of my life dealing with that shit. I was horrifically bullied. Horrifically bullied. I've had hand delivered without a postmark death threats to my apartment, to my letterbox downstairs through streaming. I have been doxxed. I have had people wish upon me and my family cancer. I have been abused in, in so many ways. Not all the ways, but a lot of ways. And I'm still here and I'm still kicking because I had a support network. And because I had a professional acting as my spotter who could help me work through my feelings about everything I was dealing with to tell me that what I was feeling was valid and that what I had experienced was shit and that those people were not kind and that I don't deserve that and that it's not normal human behaviour and all that kind of shit. And I learned all of these coping strategies through that. But I also tried to fucking kill myself. Bonkers is also a funny word. Bon bonkers is a fantastic word. Uh, a lot of similarities and a lot of mental health, uh, but I all know, but all I know is we all breathe the same air and live with each other. Why can't we try to just understand each other? Yeah, but there are some people who refuse to understand others. There are people out there who think that another human should die just because of who they love. I should chuckle. No, Zam. No. <laughs> I'm older than you, ma'am. Well, look, look. If anyone feels like it's taking forever, he is 34, he's definitely feeling my age, 40 in a few months. Ah, oh, yes, I agree, you should, only in the way that shows them where to be nicer to people. At the end of the day, that's how they think, can't always tell others how they should be. Yeah, but they also shouldn't have the right to impose those beliefs on others. So glad you can talk about mental health. It's so hard, especially to a large audience. It does a world of good for others. I like to think so, Vega. I like to think so. Um, I try to be really, really careful to not speak directly about specific things because I know they can act as triggers, but sometimes people need to hear it as well. Um, and I know, you know, you can't please everybody. You're never gonna please. You're never going to be able to please everybody. So, um, I yeah, I try to I try to pick my moments, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's also it's the ASD spectrum. Okay. What does ASD stand for? I'm sure I know, but my brain won't give me the... Spectrum. Yeah, but what spectrum? There are a million different spectrums, Grim. Night Fae Druid. Yeah, that's what I've... Yeah, I've got a Night Elf Druid. Not a Night Elf Druid. I've a... Um, fucking... What is she? Troll Druid. In Night Fae. Autism Spectrum Disorder Spectrum. Good. <laughs> Brilliant. It's like ATM machine. Automatic teller machine machine. Sorry, I just... The English language is fucked. Um, uh, different new university, it's an ASD. Uh, see, that's where you should help them up. Uh, there's learn about the world that don't involve shoving their nose in the bad things they've done like a dog. Kill them with kindness, show them how to be firm on themselves by doing so yourself. There's ways, not always, not everyone's open to that monkey. Some people will not learn unless you bash them across, across the head with something. Like, they just won't. 
they're like, oh, they're being so kind about it. It doesn't really matter. I can just ignore them. I can, I can, you know, swap them away like a fly, that kind of stuff. Uh, everyone learns differently and not everyone learns with kindness. Uh, people need to be resilient. People are often offended. People are offended for a reason. I'm not going to be offended by any comments about my skin color, but that doesn't mean those comments are okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, being offended is part of growing, though nobody ever deserves it. Uh, we have to tell ourselves, are they worth my time? It's hard, but remember you're an amazing human being, no matter what people tell you. That is not worth it. Actually, let me rewrite that first sentence. People that are more resilient can cope with it better. People do not have any requirement or responsibility to deal with what people say to them. No. Brave to talk about these things? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Thank you, Tussie. Much appreciated. Hey, Thunder. Just don't say shit that offends people based on things they can't change about themselves. Uh-huh. Fucking A. Fucking A. By the sun well. Like, seriously. Ah, uh, no repetition. It was added because my brain wasn't braining properly. Oh, that's okay. I just, it was fun to say. Hi, the sun well. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Stoop. That is so generous of you. So, so kind and generous. We should probably do another fucking dungeon. I think I've probably got time for one more. Who's in? Hi, the sun well. Well, Jack is in the queue as DPS, so I'll invite Jack. Um, are you on my list here somewhere? You are, aren't you? An illusion? Hi, <laughs> the sun well. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about the heavy conversations, guys. It's not always like... I never plan a stream being like, yeah, we're going to talk about death today. Uh, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a thing. I am Horde, yeah, monkey. Horde, uh, North America, Oceanic. It's, it's never... I don't ever go into a thing except... Except when we're doing a fundraising stream for someone like Beyond Blue or Black Dog Institute or something like that, being like, we're going to talk about mental health today. Um, but it always inevitably comes An illusion. up. What, what are, are you hiding? hiding? Exactly. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, so it's, um, should we even ask the lock? What do you think of the Marcus approaches? But yeah, I don't care. It, there's, it does nothing. Let me confer Not with my sources. No. Uh, and, ah, your alliance. Um, I have I have been asked a lot, Thunder, to the point that where I'm going to after stream today um, make a command to reiterate baby my thoughts da, because da, 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 it's it's a lot. Um, but oh, I, I, like in summary, I don't give a fuck. I I could not care less. <laughs> I have no say in this. It it has no bearing on me. For a lot of the future, it's not even confirmed. They've got to jump through a whole lot of regulatory hoops before they're even allowed to put the money on the table. Um, it could change nothing. It could change everything. And I will have no say in any of it. Neither will most of us. We're along for the ride. Our only decision to make is will we continue to play the games we do or not? Uh, and that decision will not be have to be made for literally years. By the time we have to make that decision, WoW may not even exist. Who knows? I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I genuinely don't care. I don't have. I don't have a uh, fucking uh, stock. I don't have investments in either of them, so I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> uh, oh, and Zellian. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm on Jasmine. J a z z m y n. I love the music in Wrath Dalaran. I love the music. End of sentence. Like all the music in WoW is just. Fucking incredible. Did you know that it's all on Spotify for free? Um, they have all of the, uh, what do they call it? A soundtrack. There we go. They have all the soundtracks available on Spotify for free. Um, obviously, if you have a Spotify premium, you don't get ads in amongst them. But yeah, uh, really good, especially if you're like a, a Dungeons and Dragons type person. Um, really good to have that kind of like fantasy music playing in the background because it's just good quality. Uh, so there you go. There you go, DPS if there's room. I do believe there is. Um, so yeah, I'm on I'm on Jasmine. J-A-Z-Z-M-Y-N. I'm on Saurfang. Uh, and Stormwind, Delaran, Hellfire Peninsula, and Stormwind. Love that. That's my favorite game though. Uh, yeah, it's mine as well. I mean, you know, you don't play something for 15 years without it being your favorite, hey? Uh, I come from such a different culture, I guess. I'm honestly scared of most of the stuff that I read and hear right now. My upbringing was about if you respect yourself, you don't care about what others say, and you don't you don't crave better attitude from others, you know what I mean? Be a shit about yourself, reflect on it instead of getting upset. Some people are not mature or polite enough to express themselves in a constructive way. It doesn't mean they didn't have a point. Yeah, but also someone telling me that I'm shit because I have blue eyes. Like, I'm worth less than everyone else because I have blue eyes or pale skin 
or that my friend who's transgender deserves to die, or my other friend who wants to marry his boyfriend doesn't deserve anything in his life. Like, why should they have, like, they don't have a point, they can get fucked. And like, I'm, I'm allowed to be hurt by that. Like I'm allowed to be upset about things. Are you, so in your culture, you just, I, it, it sounds like you've got that whole stiff upper lip thing where you're just not allowed to show emotion. Where you're not allowed to be upset or offended. You must take on board everything that everyone says as a, a, a potential criticism of your being and work on that. Can't they just be wrong? Like, are you allowed to feel pain? Are you allowed to feel sadness? I don't, like... And this is this is not me, like, being... Is belligerent the right word? I don't know. I'm, I'm genuinely asking because that's, that's genuine concern for you. Um, I don't know of any cultures where... Like, I mean, that's that's bullshit. I do know of a culture, it's called Australia, um, where everyone's just told to take a shot of concrete, concrete and harden the fuck up where they just like, oh, you're not stressed, you're not burnt out, just fucking get get over it, get back to work. Well, that's how you get people killing themselves. That's how, how you get people committing suicide um, or, or like cutting themselves or starving themselves or like they break down because they, they, you can't just say you have to be more resilient. Yes, brilliant, because that's a magic wand that'll just make everything in their life perfectly fine again. That's not how, like, that's not how humans work. That's not how any of this works, the meme. Uh, like, yeah, I just, that's not, that's not how it works. It sounds like, like, I, I, I don't know what it sounds like. If, if I didn't know more about the world, I would say it sounds like you've never experienced, like, genuine assault or abuse or hardship or anything like that. But I know for a fact you probably have, because most people in the world have. And you've learned to deal with it differently to some people. You've learned to just get on with it and harden yourself and, and be like, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to just do it because I don't have a choice. Let's do this. Let's go. But not everyone can do that. Not everyone has the physical ability to just get through it. That's why people jump out of buildings. That's why people jump in front of trains. That's what, like, if they could just get through it, don't you think they'd want to? If they could just get through it and be with their families and their friends and people who love them and people who they love and experience, you know, have their favourite food one more time and be able to see a sunrise and a sunset and and be able to do all their favourite activities and play their favourite video games in these, day, in these days, all that kind of stuff, and read their favourite book and, and go to a museum and... and create something with their if they if they could just get through it and do all of those beautiful things that life has to offer again don't you think they would but they can't and so they end it just because you don't feel that way doesn't mean other people don't it's a different perspective i'm sorry i can't help you see that Um, right, so I had a couple whispers. Let me just go this one and this one. I think that's good. All right, and then it'll pillar, it'll grab us a healer. Um, gonna give Bliss the love. No, I kind of like, that's okay, not a, not a problem. Years grew up with well, obviously, you're supposed to be able to filter out what's straight up shit talking and what's rude criticism. But oh, can you learn to distinguish from other people guarding yourself from both throughout all your youth? But they're not guarding themselves, they just can't take it constantly, Lev. When Vulcans feel emotions, they just suppress them. On the outside, I look pretty in control. I'm just really good at pretending I'm not like super down and stuff, but people get me down pretty bad pretty easily. I just hide that. Love in this economy. A part of your socialization is dealing with good people and bad people. You can't develop a mature and strong personality. You keep building those boundaries around you. Yes, you can. You absolutely can, because a strong personality involves me saying, no, I don't want you here, because you are bringing me down. Fuck off. I'm not speaking to you. 
but this is like, I, I just realized I need to make that really clear. I'm not banning you or timing around any of that kind of shit. I'm just like, it takes a hell of a lot of fucking strength to say to someone, you are no longer a part of my life, leave. And then to not respond to any of their messages and to cut them off and completely, yes. It takes an exceptionally strong person to be able to do that. I've had difficulty doing that with people in my life, people who have done such incredible damage to me. Like, holy fuck. We are on I've had difficulty fighting. cutting them out you because I, at the time, it. was not as strong as I am now. Boundaries are a sign of strength. A person who has no boundaries and allows everyone to walk over them and be mean to them and, you know, be nice to them in return for stuff and all that kind of stuff, that is a sign of a person who is weak, who has no boundaries. 100%. I'm looking for a team player. Oh, I don't see you looking. Probably not on the same server, monkey. Uh, so it's healthy to have these discussions because we're learning how each other functions. Life is a lesson. You learn it when you're through. Yeah. Or you don't, either way. <laughs> I'm sure that there is so much stuff I will not have learned by the time I finish this life. Oh god, I've got so many hydrates. I've been spending too much time talking and not enough time drinking. Oh, it is very difficult to know where, how to set boundaries when you've been through a lot of abuse. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Look, I'm not encouraging never having any bad words around you ever, Lav. That's not at all what I'm saying. But at the same time, you have every right to expect not to have racist shit like thrown at you. Just like, what? It's okay, I can call you a slur because you should have thicker skin. No, fuck off. No, absolutely not. That is unacceptable. No. Drakari gonna kill anybody who Words designed specifically to put a person down over something they have no choice over whatsoever are not acceptable. And if you feel that they are, I'm sorry, but we are never going to agree. Never. Yeah, I don't do war mode. Um, is your tank a pally? Uh, yes. This tank changed my mind. Yeah, I got Kingslayer in the original Lich King expansion. Well done, Johnny. so many hydrates. I should do those and stop drinking the bubble tea. <laughs> the project is... <clears throat> oh, since 2006. Well done. Well done. Those trolls don't sacrifice your gods, damn it. Back in the day, my mage did lots of dungeons with Pocket Bear Tank. I'm a bit biased towards Bear Tanks. 16 good years of this game, so my season 3 people beat my hunter. I kept it as a spec from back in the day. 
Wonderful. Time to supplement my workforce. Like engage this boss. <clears throat> you did anyway. <laughs> oh dear. The other side is wonderful for that kind of shit too. Just like the afterlife of the gods. I know there's a battle. We'll uh, do that shortly. experience is that I was kind of obese in middle school, my classmates teasing me about it, overall feeling myself outcasted eventually motivated me to do something about myself, started working out, Ooh. got my shit together, reclaimed my place in society, not by asking them to be nice and not to hurt my feelings. Basically I benefited from being laughed at. Not everyone does though. Lav, your experience is not everyone's experience and I think you need to learn that. Um, like, just because it was beneficial for you does not mean that it would be beneficial for everyone. I also know someone who was quite overweight and bullied for it in school. They're now dead. Not from their health, but because they took their life. Because the people were relentless and they tried. They worked out. They dieted. They practically developed an eating disorder. Turns out it was a thyroid condition that they could do nothing about. But doesn't, doesn't matter to the kids. They bullied the hell out of them relentlessly anyway. Your experience is not everyone else's experience. That is what you're missing here. That's the key bit that you're missing is that what I what I continually have said is that everyone experiences shit differently. Damn it. That's fine. Everyone experiences shit differently. Your experience is not everyone's. Just because you benefited from it does not matter. It does not matter that it doesn't mean everyone else does. You cannot apply your own experience to others. You just can't. Because they're not you. They're not you. Okay. It was, it was interesting. Um, yeah. Um, I didn't really know them particularly well. I didn't really associate, like, I knew who they were, and I knew what was kind of going on, but, um, I'm they ended up, it was, it was after school that, like, not after school as in, like, after school hours, um, but, like, well after we'd, we'd finished school that it all kind of came out that they, they tried and tried and tried, they'd gone and been medically tested and stuff, and it turned out that they couldn't fix it, and faced with that, plus all the abuse that they'd faced, they, they didn't want to take it for the rest of their lives, and so they didn't. Um, and it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And that's what happens when you expect everyone else to just kind of, you know, deal with shit like you can. Um, is this 
sub. Yay! Paper does game love these talks. Hearts for everyone, hearts for everyone. These talks are hard, but um, sometimes they need to be hard. Oh, I man's off-road port or the Space Quest series. It also matters so much about what you really get exposed to. Different people will treat others differently. So when poking fun at someone else is different than humiliating them. Even when it's just poking fun, you don't know what other shit they've been through and they may take it harsher than one intended. Yeah. Or you may say a little joke to them that they're abusive, alcoholic, you know, parent who sexually abused them and all the, you know, all the, like, they used to say that and now you've said that and so you've brought all these repressed memories rushing back and they can't handle it. It's got nothing to do with them having a thick skin, it's to do with everything that they've been through and they are not you. <laughs> you cannot begin to presume that anyone else on this planet has the same experience that you do. Not at all. You may have been to the same places, met the same people, but they will have experienced everything differently. Uh, I mean, the informative stuff, not the sad stuff, of course, of course. June 2 as well. The blast from the past. I still have June 2 on DOSBox. Thing is, we all have different ways of dealing with things. Simply saying we can doesn't mean we should. Yes, it should in some ways be a way to grow, just not everyone knows how to get to that point, which is why guidance is often needed. Yeah, which is exactly, exactly why I said it is a balance of people learning about their language and learning how to use their language, learning the power of words, and learning how to cope when people hit their triggers. And that can only, quite often, that can only be done with the assistance of a professional. For example, through therapy, but there are so many other ways that it can be done as well. But you need a spotter. You need someone who can help you learn how to get past those moments when they, because they will inevitably accidentally happen here and there. Like, it, it will happen. Someone will say something, completely different context, not directed at you, but you hear it and it hits you in that spot that's really sore. And you kind of, you know, take a moment, you kind of have to catch your breath because it, it hit you unexpectedly and you have to learn to deal with that. Absolutely, you have to learn how to cope with that shit. But that doesn't mean that you need to learn how to deal with constant verbal abuse. Not at all. People also need to not be assholes. Yeah? Someone being able to cope with it does not give someone else free reign to be an asshole. It is a balance of both sides. Much of this is so underrated, and the saying kids will be kids is just a way to accept that they're shitty parents. Kids will be kids who will become shitty adults. Like... <laughs> kids will say shit that they don't realize hurts? Absolutely. Because they don't know, they haven't been told, they haven't learned like most adults should have by that point, right? Yeah, yeah, good. But... A child who has been told that's hurtful and continues to say it with a gleeful little smirk on their face is an asshole. Many thanks. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I played it so much in the 90s, just don't have the time for the full campaigns anymore. Yeah, look, kids will do that, hey. Kids are assholes, aren't they? I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Joking, very much joking. Okey -dokey. Oh god, the lag is a, a thing. Uh, there's one saying I hate more above anything else uh, in this world is one of the most common sayings that tells you so much about how ignorant most people are. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. However, I do use that phrase sometimes. See ya later. But I not ever in, resp in respect to mental health or, or even physical health or anything like that, right? But it's like if I can if I can do this thing in game, like if I can organize my fucking bullshit and all of my spare time and all this kind of shit to get this mount, I believe that you can do it too. So I feel it's slightly different. <laughs> but it's uh yeah, it's only ever used in those kind of contexts. But yeah, no, it's um yeah, everyone, every single person is is an entirely different, separate, complete human. And it's, um, we all respond to everything so differently. So, so differently. Even if outwardly it looks like we're responding the same. It's not. It's, like, everyone is different. Everyone is fucking unique. Uh, sure people get offended. Nobody deserves to be verbally abused either way. On the other hand, there is an element of the world nowadays coddling too much. I see both sides, honestly. Which is why I keep saying it's a balance of both. Like, we need to learn our 
the power of our words. And we also need to learn to cope when, when things hit a trigger, when it's not intentional targeted abuse. If it's intentional targeted abuse, we need to learn the tools to remove ourselves from the situation and then figure out where exactly we're supposed to report this actual fucking abuse and harassment to. Because there is a difference between cracking a joke because that's your sense of humor and then the person saying, that's not okay. I'm, I'm not okay with this comment. And then you continuing to do it. No, that's not okay. That's, that's, that's not okay. Like, you know, continue. Like when someone expresses to you that they don't like what you're doing, let's have a conversation about something different instead. Like you do not need to make comments on my body. You do not need to make comments on my, my fucking clothing or my ass or my tits or whatever it happens. No, fuck off. That kind of shit if it continues, you can remove, you, you need to learn how to be able to remove yourself from the situation, gather yourself enough to submit a report to HR. Like that's, you know, that is, there's, there's coping in there. There's learning how to do that. But, um, yeah, it's just, <sighs> yeah. Someone being told to kill themselves because of the color of their skin or because of who they love, or because of their gender identity, or something like that, that's just, it's not okay. That is not a case of them needing to harden up. That is a case of them being abused. I don't care how you were raised or what culture you're in, that's unacceptable. No. Um, where am I? So this one, who am I on? Jasmine, 1085. Awesome. Uh, I generally try to be kind of person and love my neighbor despite my viewpoints and if I disagree. Honestly, I'm not going to be nice to somebody who thinks that my friend should kill themselves because of who they love. I'm not going to be nice to them. I'm not going to go out of my way to harass them and abuse them. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't have the energy for that. They don't deserve that kind of effort. But I'm definitely not going to be nice to them. Uh, social problems result in broken back in three places, CPTSD and destroyed sleep, happy and hunter centers in my brain. I'm so happy I got some help, but the help is often way too little since they have to save everywhere. Uh, I would say a lot of adults haven't fully learned the power of their words either. Also, polite reminder, the battle is up. Sorry, you said something. Ad rolling. Totally fine. People just need to stop judging before knowing. Yeah. I think one of the big issues is that they know, they learn and then they continue to judge. Or they ramp it up. That's the issue. But, you know, not everyone does. And I would like to think that it's a small proportion of, of humans who are horrible to that extent. Like there are some people who are just like, who are ignorant, like who just genuinely don't know. And they say stupid shit and they do stupid stuff and it's harmful and they don't know. You know, they'll learn, maybe. There is, however, a portion of people who are hateful. They, they have a hate for a portion of humanity due to something that they cannot control. Not as it like the, the, the people that they hate cannot control that particular portion of themselves. Uh, and the person who hates them decides to hate them regardless. And no matter how much they're told differently or, or shown differently, um, You know, it's it's the it's the bigot who who you know wants to harm all the gay people, and then they meet a gay person who and don't know that they're gay to begin with, and then they get to know them and they really like them, and then they find out they're gay and they're really uncomfortable and they're like, oh well, you must just be different then. But everyone else, all the other gays, they need to die. Like that's how how what mental gymnastics do you need to do to be able to like fuck anyway anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, straight up nasty, they get the wrath of their own world degrading around them, which brings me to the phrase, smile and the world smiles with you, scowl and the world throws you away. It's a problem that they don't. They just get more of a following on Twitter. <laughs> like, fucking. <laughs> uh, birth defects and scars will put me into the bully category. 
I learned something from people ramping up abuse. If you laugh at them and agree in the abuse and it stops most times, showing feelings make it worse. You really need a healthy outlet for your feelings and someone that reminds them they are truly good enough. Yeah, it's um the whole, yeah, look. And then not everyone's able to do that. Not everyone is able to, to you know, they've, they've been broken down by the abuse so much they don't have the fortitude to be able to stand up and laugh in their face. Uh, and that's, that's valid. Like, yeah. Anyway, it's, this has been some really serious discussions. Um, uh, yeah, th these have been some really serious discussions. Um, I, I highly encourage you guys to like, just take a breath, take a breather, chill out. Um, it's, it's a big emotional, um, yeah, I, I do agree with Jack there. Giving into the abuse is the worst thing you can do. That is exceptionally dangerous. Um, there are studies that show, like, if you try to stand up to an abuser, chances are the abuser will actually ramp up what they're doing, uh, which can lead to obviously more damage and potentially death. Like, sometimes just closing your eyes and getting through it coming out the other side of it alive and then being able to put them behind bars is the safest thing for a person to do. That's exceptionally dangerous advice to give in, to like to not give in to the abuse. Fighting back is not always a good idea at all. At all. But don't let them get the result they want. How do you know what they want, Johnny? You don't. They are an abusive fuckwit. Ha like, if you if you are not in the place where you also want to abuse somebody, you cannot possibly have the same thought pattern as they do. So they, they you don't know, you don't know what they want. They may want you to fight back so that they can justify hitting you harder. Like, they may want you to fight back so they can justify excessive force. They may want you to laugh at them so they can say, she laughed at me and so I hurt her because she was laughing at me and she deserved it. It's not always the best advice, yeah? It's... Yeah, just be careful. Be really fucking careful. I'm risking a spiral of someone thinking they're not good enough and deserve the abuse if they don't have the strength that day to stand up to it. Also an exceptionally good point. A really, really good point. If you are in an abusive situation, or if you need any, any kind of assistance, any kind of support, somebody to talk to even, just, just something as simple as that, someone to listen, or someone to just talk at you for a bit, which is kind of what I've been doing today, but I'm finishing up now. So if, if you need someone, anything like that, any kind of support, if you're in one of these situations, please, there are... There are people to reach out to. There are professionals who can assist. They're free. They're easy to get into contact with. Not all of them involve a phone call. If it is not safe for you to call somebody, there are a lot that offer live chats, like internet chats and stuff like that. You can do things with incognito mode browsers so that your history won't be saved and cookies won't be saved and stuff. If you are in a dangerous situation, there is help. There is help. In Australia, you can contact Beyond Blue, you can contact Lifeline. There are a few other ones for specific situations as well if you need them. If you are in another country, I don't know what the numbers are, but we can find them. We can find them. There is a Discord that you can join. It's discord.gg forward slash Fiamma. And we are there to talk. We can, we can talk to you. We can help you find. If you let us know what country you're in, we can find you the right resources. Without any, all you need to do is, I need help, I'm in country. We will find you something. It may not be the perfect exact right one, but the one that we find you will be able to help you find the exact right one. You are not alone. It is okay. And if it's not okay, it can be okay. There is help out there. There is help out there. You matter. You matter. You deserve to be here. On this planet. Not maybe in the situation you're in, obviously. But, like, you deserve to be here. And you deserve to have a good life. 
Help is out there. Uh, congratulations to Thor, Spam, Dunno, Apro, Allard, Dam, Buoy, Dos, and Zem on your bonus shit. Um, I'm going to see you tomorrow for stream stream, like a big one. Um, oof. Oh, tummy ache. Um. I think I'm gonna go here. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. You can go to twitch.tv forward slash fiyama forward slash schedule to see what time it'll be in your time zone. It's 12 hours though, so if you rock up tomorrow at some point, you'll probably see me. Uh, grab your copy paste. We're gonna raid Dark Mac. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you then. All the love. Bye, guys.